couple clicks, he'll show you how fast it is. And we're already off for a good show here. We're going to start things off with Hubert up against Ringtex. Ringtex, of course, known for Enchantress, but coming in today with the Kunoichi. And, of course, Hubert on Berserker, both of them rocking the clear cubes as well. So they're going to get that awakening skill a little early on here in the match. All right, here we go. Kicking things off already. Man, it, it's been a while, but I am happy to see Berserker once again. Look at this. Already going for the dive kick loop. going to carry you straight to the corner. Yeah, the Ashen Fork really gets a really big one there, but nice. The jump skill actually stuffs that out. Again, forget neutral. We're skipping it, all right? That's the topic of the weekend. Oh, no. Let's not talk about the neutral skips. This game's full of them, brother. Oh, yeah. And push it a little bit further and conversion right into awakening. Oh, my goodness. And that really goes to show picking that clear cube. So you do get an awakening at 50% instead of 30% uh, actually worked out there. Able to get the awakening very early in that combo. Yeah, very early. Merc Jones coming through with the $15 into the match. Arena. thank you so much for the support. Here we go now. Ring Tech trying to slow the pace of the match down a little bit here. Uh, we've already talked about so many times how Berserker is so snowball heavy, right? High risk, high reward. He wants to spend his life to take yours. There we go. Ring Tech going to town here. Kuno Ichi setups here. High low. Going to wait for the mark to explode. Nice. Great patience there from Hubert and rolling out of the corner. All right, yeah, trying to catch him high. Keeping it up with the fire style jutsu, but he is going to get clipped, confirmed straight into the dive kick. Oh, look at this quarter carry jobber. Oh my God, bro, help. Ooh, I like it. Landing right into the block button, right? Trying to bait out a reversal there from Ringtex, but Ringtex is still going to be able to close out the round. Yeah, firing back, tying up the rounds here. Oh my goodness, the tip of that <laughs> far A, so crazy. And this pressure is unreal. Going for the conversion there, very nice. Teleport into conversion to make sure that you can just kind of slow things down, find your hit. And now Ring Tech trying to close this out. We have Hubert right where we want him. Getting all extra damage is running full screen. Trying to put out the tornado again, but nice roll from Hubert, but it's still there. Great knowledge, not trying to check there. Oh, this actually might be it. Oh, empty oh, jump, but still gets right hit through. by the DP. All right, send out the gore cross. Immediately activate the frenzy state, and that's it. So that's game number one here, going to Hubert. We're going to keep yeah. extending this combo. All right, there we go. Finally, let's the super rock. Yep, you know, just uh, easy peasy. Just put, put out the dog. The hog, the blood dragon, the blood yeah, dog. The blood dragon. Blood hound? The blood. Oh. Okay. All right, but here we go. Jumping into game number two, Asian. Ooh, we yell at the intros rock? No. He said, I get mine, you don't get yours. Yeah, very back and forth so far. It just kind of comes down to. Um, who's going to capitalize the most? Hubert really being able to wait out the tornado in that last round. So smart. So we'll see if Ringtex can kind of clutch it out this time. Oh, and now we're starting to see Ringtex pull out that indomitable spirit, though, right? Just trying to find the right opportunity to punish. Sends out the flaming tornado. Just trying to use it for a little bit of a zoning and neutral tool. Yeah, they're exhausted right now. Oh, pressing the issue. I love it. Look at the damage that we're putting on board. It's still not over yet. Finally, able to lock down Hubert into the corner. But he's going to try and poke his way out. There's a punish with the 2S, but doesn't get anything out of it. Oh, nice. Snipes out with the kunais. Nice pick up two here in the corner. Gore cross. The cross up. <laughs> Great blocks. Yeah, that was beautiful. Ooh. Wow, he was able to dash underneath the conversion, but still got caught by the standing A. Ringtex looking to tie things up now. Oh, no. Yeah, big go slash, but no full confirm off of that. Ringtex got off easy there. There you go. Sends out the Toad. Gets the OTG. Good confirm. Immediately going for the multi-hitting fireball, but we use the guard cancel just to escape. Oh, no, it goes the wrong way. Doesn't get to punish Red, the DP, too. Oh, but there, speaking of DPs, there it is. Straight through the pressure from the Toad. 
And we're sending him out again. Go, my son. Hold down neutral, but he's gonna get caught. Brought right back in with oh. the Gore-Tex, and you're dead. Oh, it's a command grab. Oh, Did no. not go for the Awakening here. Wait a second. He's trying to press, but now you're on the Razor's edge here. Rolling backwards, trying to create some distance, oh. but gets caught by the Fire Style Jutsu. All right, one, one Ring Tex fighting back. I remember, of course. It is going to be three out of five the entire way through this bracket. We're starting things off strong, one apiece. Oh, nice chase into the air. No, you pressed. Oh, trying to IS a little bit. Not make, make something with here, but no go. I love the spacing and the stagger of uh, ring tech's pressure here. So the double jump tries to sound the flaming kunai, but gets hit with the DP. A clean hit, sent to the corner again. Ring Tex has to guess the roll through, right through the jump in, but still picked it up off the 2B, seriously? Yeah, you should be dead here if we go straight into the stupor, right? Oh, let's see. Vortex right into the super, and that's definitely gonna be enough to get the kill here. Bring out the Bloodhound again. Oh, it's so tough there. Ring Tex did almost everything right, but Hubert just needed two touches there to tie it up. But now let's see if we can take that lead, right? All you need is two touches, really, from a, a well-optimized Berserker. No, oh, no, jump M. Huge damage starter here, and potentially on two touch again here. But Ring Tex in an awakening. Of course, that oh, awakening no. is going to increase speed, but the speed doesn't matter if you can't escape. You should be dead off this. Yeah. Good lord. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, that's good to note. I see everyone mentioning that the game was free on the Epic Game Store. Hope you guys were able to pick it up. Give it an opportunity if you've never played it. It's incredibly fun. Of course, aiding are the minds behind Marvel vs. Capcom, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, uh, many other incredible fun fighting games. Uh, Castlevania Judgment. <laughs> <laughs> that too. And soon to be Hunter x Hunter. Yeah. Oh my goodness. But Ring Tech's going to town here in the corner on a near... I said uh, perfect, but I don't want to curse them and they'll get you by one thing. And there it is! No, the guard cancel! Oh, that the empty jump into the low region. This is bad. Oh, boy. And Berserker has nothing left to lose now. Uh, there we go. Got a little bit of health from the command grab. One more setup here. Nice blocks. Oh, no, but gets hit by the low after the very low jump A there. And this will definitely be it here. Standing a little bit further. We're still going to Awakening yeah. off his Gore-Tex. And there it is. Oh Super God. comes out once again. Hubert looking so strong, kicking things off here in our DNF dual tournament. I feel like no time has passed. It is business as usual. Bro, he's the MC. He's got his own action game coming out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The first Berserker. All right, double backdash there just to activate the frenzied state. Oh, and yeah. Finding the right off snipe. So smart there from Hubert. It goes for a little bit of a shimmy too, trying to bait out a button there from Ring Tech. Indomitable Spirit comes through again. Whoa, the air to air! Didn't get too much off of it, but I love the idea to make sure that Ring Tech just can't take to the skies and take advantage of all of the air mobility that Kanoichi has. Now here we go, teleport in, dropping the fire on. Look at the teleport mixes that we're seeing here. Great block on the guard cancel, and this should be an easy round for Ring Tech. But we still have a long way to go, right? Hubert is still sitting at set point right now. Mm -hmm. Backing up, getting the frenzy on. Yeah, Mr. Toad with the OTG. Oh, yeah. Looks like Hubert tried to spot dodge the last fireball there. Still got caught, but managed to escape out of the corner. And now the Frenzy State is on. There's the instant overhead with the conversion. Nasty work. 
Why does that go so far? Oh my goodness. He needs it, bro. He needs it. Okay. Yes for game here. On the back up. Oh, the patience! Oh no! A little too patient, Yasin. Oh my goodness. Not again. Opened up the same way they started it out here. Oh, they're not going to the awakening and just caught the roll. And that'll be it here. Huber taking a 3 1 over Ring Text. Yeah, what a first game to start off with. Green Tex did have a lot of really good signs of life, fought back in a lot of big ways, and got some great corner carry options, but really I feel like was struggling to keep Hubert locked down in the I'm corner. I'm really happy with the way they translated uh, Metal Mage to the actual fighting game. Here we go. Pineapple versus Merc Jones coming up, and both Spectre and Brawler. The chat just wanted to see these characters, and here they are. Look, I want to let you know, if you're in this chat and you have not played DNF Duel, I have a feeling that Brawler might sell you on this game. He is so sick and so stylish. He, he revolves around a lot of interesting combos and setting different effects on you, whether it's poison or fire, right? To just tick your health down over time. And then not even getting into the fact that you have to play Donkey Kong when he puts the barrels out. And there we go, the 2S. Just picking you up with that slide. Oh, nice rollout. There you go. I'm going to get a bit of damage here in the corner. Merc Jones going to get the knockdown. Setting out the projectile. Spectre on the flip side is like a weird mix of Virgil and... Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Why am I forgetting his name? Bionic Commando, bro. Yeah, that, that, that zip uh, allows such really cool movement across the screen, too. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, nice. Oh, tried to go for the oh. slide to pick up, and instead uses the conversion to keep himself safe right into the awakening. Batter, batter. Oh my god, I love this awakening. It's so cool. Ooh! The bat with the mines on it. I, I, I do gotta say, all, all these DLC characters are so cool. Oh, nice pick up there. Poking yeah. out. They play so unique, too. Like, more unique than most characters in other fighting games. Like, mm. Look at that. Just pulling the rocks down from the sky with Kaven. Goes for the slide to get the pickup. Tries to go for the spinning needle, but just allows to keep himself safe. Oh, nice blocks. All right. Trying to create a little bit of space here. The crawler, of course, does have very long range buttons here. That JS, so good for just catching your opponent. And here it is, time to play Donkey Kong. Mm. Again, the knockdown too. The cave in. Oh my gosh, it actually should be dead. Oh my god, one more. Oh. Wow. Didn't even need to go into super there. Just the cave in loops in the corner were enough to so close gross. it out. Man, this is too cool. Yeah, and, and the, the barrels are cool for combos, but they also lock the opponent down, too, yeah. to allow him to just mix you up. It can be pretty obnoxious. Yeah, and considering, you know, recent discourse, I would argue to say that the, the barrels are a neutral skip. They are. Absolutely. <laughs> Kaven kind, of, kind of is, too, right? It functions almost as an anti-air, a meterless DP for him. Or, no, excuse me, not meterless, but it functions as kind of like a DP for him because it does have armor. Very silly character. <laughs> Fairly effective. Oh, caught with the slide too. Yep, slide right on in. Kick the sand at him. Flips right back. Unfortunately, was not far enough to force the block. Great side swap there from Pineapples. And now we're going to try to go for a kill confirm here. Cave in again. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. The damage is right to Awakening. Well, what really yeah. makes his his combos so interesting is the fact that he can consistently keep pulling you in with the net, right? Just mm. doing that 5S over and over to pull you in, keep you closer. So it feels like his combos never knock you far enough away. Yeah, just being able to cash out damage like that in the corner is so good. But, um, you know, Spectre can kind of counter poke easily uh, here. But unfortunately, we are in the blender right now. Poison ticking. Gonna cash out with cave in. Let's have your help. He's mashing that needle spin. Bro, the snap. I'm sorry, if you're a character and your design is you wear your jacket over your shoulders like a cape, you're sick, okay? Oh, what's that character from One Piece who, who wears the jacket over the shoulders? I don't know. Oh, no, oh, you're not a One Piece? For, uh, okay, my bad, my bad. It's Garp, right? 
Uh, yes. <laughs> the chat's gonna like roast me if I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Okay, we're good. We're good. And he's got the eye patch on top of it, bro. Ready to brawl here. Oh, I that love that. Armor point. Yeah, yeah big I love the hit and run play style from Brawler. It is just so cool to see because they play their ranges so um, so smartly here. Yeah, and because of Brawler's slide, he can honestly pick you up from conversions anywhere on screen, which makes him just so devastating, right? You're not safe no matter where you are because he's effective at all ranges. Good conversion there off the slide. Ooh, the 4S nope. right through the guard cancel. Stop! Yep, nope. 4S has armor there. You cannot guard cancel that. You are forced to hold it. And he can hold it down to make it go on longer, right? Rally in here, getting a clean hit on pineapples. Well, this has been tough. They have they haven't been able to get uh, get started. And look at that, the sweep into the barrel just to run up on them. And here we go, keeping a little patience. Again, pineapples is just trying to find the right opportunity to score a single hit. Attempts to go for the sweep, realizes it wasn't gonna hit, so goes for the conversion. Time for Caven. The roll on the other side, and I love the side switch into the corner. We go, we actually might get cave in loops here. Feel the drop, but still, the barrels keep going. Oh, the zip across the screen to avoid. Yeah, we need to find something here. Merc really hasn't been able to take around, finally, does. Getting Ooh, some scary. signs of life here, but we need to get a point on the board. We need to bring things back. Problem is, is when you whiff big against a character like Brawler, he's gonna get those confirms on you. Also, just kind of getting knowledge check, not knowing where you're allowed to press, right? Haven there has a little bit of time from when the chain hits to when the rocks fall. But that that that, that is a risky mash, sir. <laughs> Nice. Look at him trying to snipe out with that JS. <laughs> oh, yep. That, we're getting we're getting a handle on the neutral here. Merc Jones is doing really good at kind of avoiding the distances where you can either get hit by the sweep or get hit by the barrels. Oh, nice conversion. Needle spin. Oh, we are just going. That's the poison up. That is going to put Merc Jones into Awakening now. Oh, the oh, Disgusting. Yeah, that's death, all right. <laughs> Bro, this game's diabolical. Uh, <laughs> I love that they held that for that last match. It's like, ugh. I was, no one was ready for that. No one was ready to block the high there. Right now, so here we go, Vanguard. Oh, Spectre. Oh, Spectre. So, so it's not gonna be the... Um, the Ghost Blade, right? Ghost Blade, yeah. But of course, Kazunkai always, always rocking his man here, the Vanguard. Mm -hmm. The Vanguard the Believer. Two. Played it when he was hot garbage. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what happens, you get rewarded for those efforts now. <laughs> no bad, huh? No. Just giving you a little taste, saying this is what's gonna come. And I'm D coming through with the eight month. Thank you so much for the support. You know we're running DNF. Brand new character coming out, or came out. Blocks. Ooh, no, we're just ran it again with the 6S. And that is a dead character. Absolutely ending it with the DP. Pierced. Gone med, not out of it yet. Nice conversion nice. there with the rising JA. Ooh, I love the zip for the meaty. Oh, look at God that. God APM is wild. <laughs> I'm just seeing a lot of cancels come out from Spectre. That's that's one thing. If you like pressing buttons, Spectre is the character for you, right? Woo! Nice. There we go into the tilt of world. Big conversion here. Still not enough to get a kill. Wow, tried to go for a safe jump, but got caught by the DP anyway. Yeah, interesting. That definitely looked like the timing for it, too. 
But Kazuntai is an awakening here now, which means that we're dead. <laughs> yep. Tried to sneak in a little bit past the pierce, but gone mad. Great timing. Trying to go for that Pierce. Clean jumping though. A little too far away to connect the 2A, unfortunately. Here we go. Play him down. Helmbreaker again. Ooh, gets the grab. Ooh. Get your go for backdash conversion. Ooh, that was beautiful there. Actually going for the throw cancel, right? Just keep yourself safe. Prevent the whiff punish. And Kazunkai is gonna be able to take game number one. Yeah, really good decision making there, taking advantage of the fact that Spectre what, it is in the air but when they go for the zip, so if you have the reaction time forward, you can just DP it. But it, it just zips so quickly, so you gotta be so careful about it. Uh-oh, there we go, gets the parry. Use that hard knockdown, now you're back up against the wall, trying to use that indomitable spirit. Look at the white life building up, gotta be careful now. But what a DP! Oh my god, the 6S conversions get close. Oh, we just go for the raw conversion to put ourselves into Awakening. Interesting decision there from Kazunkai, right? We just want to have access to our super already. Oh, into the corner. Man, you want to talk about the inputs per second. Kazunkai as well is getting caught this time though by the slash. Yeah, God Mad is getting some insane sequences off the bat where Kazuin Kai is playing from the back foot and so hard to make your way in with the way that God Mad is playing Spectre. Yeah, and I think that's really smart for God Mad to kind of slow things down a little bit too. You have to take control of the pace of the matchup here as Spectre. Vanguard kind of playing a little bit more like a traditional zoner, right? There's the behead. Did not no score counter, counter hit. though. This mid-range looks so hard to deal with. Even though Vanguard, not a stranger to having good mid-range, but just the way that uh, Spectre can poke up and the speed at which she can kind of gap close is so scary. Yeah, for Vanguard too, it's not a whole lot of mix-up, right? He's trying to counter poke mm. you mostly in neutral. Score those counter hits and then lead into big damage. And now Kazunkai on the cusp of going up 2-0 here in this match. Oh my god, the distance on that. Almost reached it. Oh! Just to run up, go for the mix. Nice rollout. Right, OTG, set up the tornado. Look at that IAD. This time dashes down for the low. Well, while Vanguard may not be a mix heavy character, Spectre sure is. I guess knockdown. Okay. Oh my goodness! All the time in the world of that crumple to get the side swap. <laughs> <laughs> How many frames is that? All right, this again. He had time to think about it. Oh, that's the situation here. God, I just poke through. The 236M is enough to get through, but oh my god. Gotta watch out, though. Again, it's all about that counter poking. Oh, here we go with the sweet 2B. Look at the range on that, brother. I did not think that would hit. That's crazy. <laughs> Anilla to you, eat your heart out. Are you starting off the match with Behead again? Okay, I see you, Kazumkai. Bro, Behead is the truth. Ooh, big swing on the 5S. With the side swap too, stylish. Tries to oh, go for the shoulder nice. charge in, but it was just too short, Yajin. Okay, able to poke through the gap here. Now I'm gone mad. Getting Suka's other on the corner, safe jump, set up the buff. Oh, nice, gets the overhead. There we go again. Look at this, it just keeps going. You have to go into super to make sure you can close things out. Off the yeah, wall, nothing personal. Stuff. I love how like half the awakenings are nothing personnel kit. <laughs> <laughs> how edgy can we get? Ooh, nice check immediately with that 5A. Stage 
dance cancel there. Oh my goodness, this pressure. Indomitable spirit there just to try and get some of that white life. Behead! He's gonna get pulled up. He is at a magic pixel. My god, Yajin. Yeah, There's no shot. It, the armor on the behead ate so much damage. I was unscaled. There is no shot right now. Yeah, it does get crossed up there by Gone Mad. Gone Mad finally getting a point on the board. Currently 2 1. And Gone Mad's getting a little bit uh, more comfy in, in the matchup. We're seeing a lot more sequences where uh, Gone Mad knows exactly where to poke out, and they're getting a lot of damage off of it. Yeah, and it's all about being able to play that neutral game against Vanguard and not throwing out unsafe pokes that are just going to get clipped. Yeah, some of the crazy stuff is a lot of the damage that Kazunkai is uh, experiencing is through armoring the pokes from God Mad. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of how Vanguard wants to play the game, right? He just wants to blow you up in the mid-range with his own pokes or those counter hits. But God Mad's doing a much better job now starting to control the chaos in neutral. Ooh, nice. Yeah, you always have to be very careful. When you're in Awakening, you have to be so careful about that. Absurd. Absolutely <laughs> absurd. He just keeps doing DP and then goes, yeah, you know what? Let me cancel this real quick. Hope you didn't try to punish me. Oh, this is sick up. Oh, the too far for that grab. Nice, the 5B swing. Yep, that's the van. Being able to cancel the DP is thanks to the gold cube from Vanguard, right? It allows him to cancel his special moves into special moves. His mana moves into mana moves. Ooh, nice! And the OTG there, God Mad, looking to try and tie things up. I love it. That was so smart. Knew that they were going to go for the cancel. Like, bet I got you, fam. Is Spectre like Johnny or Yuzu? I don't like Yuzu mixed with uh, with Spencer from <laughs> MBC. That's kind of yeah. the best way to describe her. All right, going for that fastball. Just trying to force a button press out of Kazunkai. There we go. Blows up the behead attempt. A perfect KO from Gone Mad. What a comeback so far. Kazunkai was in full control for those first two games. Now Gone Mad finally starting to mount an offense, mount a counter play here, and really out poking Kazunkai. Yeah, we'll see how Kazunkai will kind of adapt here. It, it feels like there's no safe spot on the screen, but as I say, a big open up here from Kazunkai getting a grip of damage on Gone Mad. Oh, double roll out of the corner, and then we're just gonna roll backwards. Let us out. All right, gets the side swap. Oh, unfortunate there. Kazunkai running up and getting the throw. I love these throw cancels too. For those of you who aren't aware, you can cancel out of your normals with throw. So uh, you see that a lot from Vanguard to keep himself safe and not have any of those lingering hurt boxes. Oh, nice jump. Um, oh, no. We're seeing a lot of call outs here. Oh, trying to go for a punish a little too far away. There's the counter hit. Scooped right off the ground. Oh, the oh restand and then swing to the 5B, but luckily it was an air hit, so they did bounce away. He really just landed and said, I'm sending it. And what happens, happens. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. Ooh, try to anti-air, but nice delay on the zip down. Oh, tried to go for the DP, but it wasn't going to work. Gone mad now with the tables turned, sitting at set point. Final game, final round for both of these players. Love to see it. Oh my gosh, and both players just try to go for their massive stroke trading out here. But Gone Mad putting the pressure on here in the corner. Oh no. A lot of damage here from Kazunkai. Bro, it is absurd. And look at all the inputs too, having to constantly go for that grapple hook over and over and over. And there it is. Just right into the low. Should be able to cash it out all the way here. Has the MP for it. No, one more mix. Wait a second. 
DP in a dream. Tries to go for the shoulder charge. That's risky. Have to be careful setting out these fireballs here. Trying to force Kazunkai into an uncomfortable situation. Oh, it's still a hit. Too far away to actually get any kind of conversion off of it, unfortunately. But look at this. Oh. Pick up on the fireball. There we go. Oh, God, I'm mad. Gonna take that 3 2. Insane. What a match. I can't believe such a close match ended with landing on a fireball into the zip confirmed. Those orbs, those chasers, which then, mm -hmm. with fireballs, give her different buffs, right? But yeah. we're gonna go into Blue Linkies versus Lufal here with some Vanguard versus Inquisitor action, both rocking the clear cubes. So no Swift Master. Interesting. What Inquisitor? Another character that is incredibly strong right now. So, not surprised there. Yeah, this is a character that I've always wanted to see perform well. Right? Uh, back in the day, she just kind of lacked health and lacked damage uh, as easy as other characters got it. Oh, let's see here, Blue Linkies, letting the DP rip. Oh, big swing on the 5B. Sends out the Jurati into some more dive loops. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's going for the pressure with oil. Very in and out gameplay. Still very strong here. Send oh, caught the, the card cancel. Oh, no, that's the worst. So, so what happened is that there was a gap in the block trick and they got conversion instead of guard cancel. You hate to see it. Yeah, unfortunate. And that is going to be it there. Setting the fire on top of you, letting it tick down your health. Blue Linky's taking game number, or excuse me, round number one in a pretty quick fashion. The Lu Lufal, rocking the Lu Boo colors. Yeah, do not pursue. Oh my gosh. Blue Linky's just taking half their health and just blocking stuff here from Vanguard. Here we go, dive into again. Let's see how Lou is gonna be able to get out of this one. Oh, nice card cancel. Oh my gosh, do not run up on me. You might actually be dead here. We do have yep. access to super. Nope, we're just gonna go for the DP ender here. Oh, it's not done yet. <laughs> yeah, the DP, when, when they're marked, they get the extra explosion afterwards for the pickup. But no! Lou FL sticking with it right now. Nice awakening. What a comeback. That's so crazy. Yeah, incredible stuff from Lou. Now one round apiece. Let's see, round start situation. 5A just poking. Able to get that command dash in. And now you're going right where you've been the entire game mostly into the corner. But Lou has been able to fight from that position pretty effectively. Oh, nice. Catches the, the back dash. Dominable spirit immediately into the DP. I love the delay there. 5B immediately in, like, uh, with a big, a big delay to try and catch that frame trap. Ooh, didn't run far enough for that uh, Pogo to pick up. Follow my lead. And Durder coming through with the tier one. Seven months. Welcome back and thank you. And get caught with the Molotov coming through. Blue Linky's taking game number one. We need more axe-based characters in fighting games, the Asian. We do. I mean, we're getting a uh, we're getting Vane and uh, Grand Blue versus. So you're right. You're right. That's, that's more of like a. It's like a halberd. You like know, a halberd, which is a which is an axe. It's the most that's versatile an axe. weapon known to man. You know. <laughs> More dives here. There we go. Setting up the oil too. Oh no, gets caught low. Yeah, this is how a lot of the Inquisitor matches are going to look like. They push you to the corner and then put you into loops until you explode. Yeah, absolutely. And you see all this indomitable spirit coming out from Lou as well, right? Now has access to conversion. Goes to the helm for Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> 
I think he, uh, I think he input the, uh, the conversion just a little too early, right? Wanted to hit it upon landing with the Helm Breaker, but pressed it right before it connected. Blue Linky's taking advantage of that situation. That was still a spooky fake out, just in case. Oh no, Blue Linky's getting the initial hit too. No! Gets frame trap counter hit. And again, starting to see more reruns every single round is looking the same, Yeage. And it starts off with Blue Linky's getting the same loop over and over to put Lou into the corner. And then Lou having to fight back from this disadvantaged situation. Honestly, now that I think about it, Inquisitor is an amazing pick here for Blue Linkies. I mean, where else have you seen a character with insanely strong neutral, it seems, and also insane damage in the corner? I wonder which character that reminds you of. Yeah, I wonder. <laughs> Train some wind for some fire, maybe? I don't know. There you go. Lou FL cleaning it up. Pick it up right to Awakening. There you go. The big slap. Look at that, bro. The size of that pole arm. I, I love the Awakening, too. It it's like one of the simpler ones. It's like, I'm not going to, like, you know, teleport behind you. I'm just going to do the big slap with my spear. That's what most of his stuff is, right? Like this big slap <laughs> over and over at different angles. Yeah, the, the, the funny thing is that Vanguard's like the boring class out of all of the, um, out of all the Lance characters. <laughs> Everyone else has like, you know, like someone has like the unlimited blade works, but it's spears. So like definitely the more basic character out of all of them. Let's dive again. Look at this, it just keeps going. Yeah, for all of you that don't know, uh, Gajan is a DNF head. <laughs> Dungeon and fighter head, he loves that game. Oh yeah. Nice. The pickup afterwards is enough, and there we go. My goodness, the damage that Inquisitor could put out in the corner. Yeah, that's the main thing, right? Where she lacks is she lacks with damage mid-screen. But that's fine mm. because she touches you and she can carry you to the corner immediately. Also has great lockdown by setting the wheel on you. But really, when she when she gets that hit in the corner is where she really starts to shine, especially when she has the fire on you. Oh man, are we thinking about a character switch here? Lua fell, taking a little, you know, a little breather. Oh my it, goodness! And shout out to End Die for the fifty dollars contribution to the Macherino. Yeah, thank you so much. Nearly at $100 already. Make sure you go ahead and check out that match room, exclamation point match room in the chat. We still have 19 codes remaining, mind you, out of 50. So let's use up all those codes and get those sponsor quests done as well to help push this prize pool even higher and support these players. Let's see. <laughs> Blue Linky's in the chat. I'm just here to say Inquisitor is fair play. Jesus. It's fair. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. You got a game to play, man. I I respect that. I'm just glad Inquisitor wow. is good. Uh, she was yeah. definitely not at the start of the game. I'll say that much. Yeah, I mean, shout outs to, uh, you know, Anton, you know, really holding the torch yeah. for Inquisitor back when Inquisitor wasn't even like the a good character. Yeah, no. He just believed in her, right? Believed in the power of God. You know, we talk so much about Crusader and how he, how he has God on his side. But we always forget that Inquisitor's up there, too. Yep. And the $30 coming through to the Matra as well from Shamsay. Thank you so much. Y'all are absolutely incredible today. All right, Earlier so Bell, no character change. Yeah, no character change at all. Also, I love this color on Inquisitor. Gives me some Catalina vibes. Oh no, just waiting for the jump in, the DP running up the pressure, the 5B whips. Nice. Great answer here from Lua Fell. Yeah, I think, I looked away for a second, but I think he just jumped, like jumped over the grab attempt, right? Immediately yeah, just right jump them immediately on Wake Up. Look at this. Sometimes all you need is a little bit of a breather. Can't roll through Whoa! that. Get right back in the corner. Where do you think you're going? In the back hitbox of 214M? Oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's insane. That was gorgeous. So smart. I think most people are too afraid to try and roll through that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, 
pulling you right on in. Not done yet. Ending it with the Helm Breaker. Trying to go for a bit of a cross up there. Nice DP answer though from Blue Linkies. We are in the corner though. Do not get hit. It is so scary. Trying to IS for your life. Nice swing with the far A. Again. Hold on. Okay, I was about to say. We definitely don't have enough of Blue Linkies answering with a Helmbreaker of their own. Surely not, right? Oh, you're dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. We're going to get a... Hold up. Maybe not. Yeah, OTG into Super. It Whoa. is. That's so unfortunate. Literally got hit by the last hit of Jump M on the other side. And they got to the corner off that combo too. Incredible. Wow. And look at that post. Set it on fire. <laughs> yep, the washing machine still very strong tool from Inquisitor. <laughs> the washing machine, bro? Yes, sir. <laughs> With <a spin> cycle. <laughs> oh, not again. Just instant jump M conversion to pick up. When we're in the corner, that was corner to corner. Yeah, and it does so much damage too, just because we're constantly looping into putting the Jurati on, right? The essence and then setting you on mm. fire. Well, oh my god. You know. I think, no, you're alive this time. Uh, uh, no, he's dead! No, surely you're alive. There has to be enough scaling of he's that to survive dead, this, Jobber. right? Hold up, hold up. No, he oh. got it! Magic Pixel! Bro, he gave up. <laughs> he said, you know what? You're right. You're right. My bad. Yeah. I, I get it. <laughs> I, I, get I get it, dude. He said, he said, he hit me with the super. I ain't living this, bro. I'm going to the bathroom. I'm getting a drink. Y'all, could someone submit that to Willa Kill? Because that clip was insane. <laughs> that was a Please. beautiful clip. Someone clip that right now. Nah, deal. That was a magic pixel and no dream. <laughs> I still no can't dream. believe it. But Lou, oh Lou's goodness. still showing off really great stuff there with Vanguard. It was just... It, I understand the frustration, right? Because constantly, after every straight hit, he is put into the corner and put in a situation where he has to brawl his way out or guess correctly with the DP. And that is going to weigh on you mentally throughout a set. But Lou was doing a great job fighting out of that corner position over mm -hmm. and over throughout every single round. Yeah, it, it, that, that was just so tough. It felt like very stressful at neutral, especially when and any time that Blue Linkies had conversion, it was just jump M conversion just in case. And half the times it hit anyway, so you don't even need the conversion for that's it. The, uh, that's the uh, the 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 skip neutral that all the uh, the kids are talking mm, about. Ah, right? yes, on, the, on the, Twitter, the neutral skip on X these days. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, boy. Reiko777 coming up, the Lost Ooh, Warrior, okay. and Borderlands on the launcher. It's going be interesting. I actually have not seen this matchup yet. I swear, Lucas, I guarantee Lucas is still not unlocked Lost Warrior. Yeah, it's just, it's just going to be the, the 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 shadow again, as usual. Over a year later, it's going to be the mystery <laughs> man coming in. It always cracks me up because the chat's like, how y'all not unlock Lost Warrior yet? <laughs> But yeah, up against a board Erlands coming through. Orlands should be playing on the launcher here. And I believe, let me check. I think this is a top eight qualifier. Oh my goodness. I think. Uh, yes, this is in fact a qualifier for top eight winners side. Yeah. Who is that character? Who we don't that, know. Bro? Secret character? <laughs> Damn. There's so many characters in DNF Duel. We haven't even seen this one before. I know, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, the chat with the question mark, question mark, question who, mark. Who could it be? Never seen that man in my life. There we go, launcher with all of her guns. Yeah, Lost Warriors has gotten better um, from the past. Still kind of a rough character because the slow buttons, but 
The amount of damage they can put out is kind of insane. Yeah, Lost Warrior also with a really unique mechanic when it comes to time stop in a fighting game, right? He builds up those stocks, and once he hits five stocks, it immediately goes into time stop to allow him to convert. Yeah, I'm getting them beans on. Oh, nice check. Getting out of the corner there. But the rough thing is that Launcher can really threaten from any distance here, and uh, Lost Warrior is such a massive frame. Uh, he's going to run into everything that Launcher puts on the screen. Absolutely. <laughs> this character is just absurd. Look at that. You try to press out and immediately get hit by the grenades coming down. Oh, Atom Bomb. Oh, oh nice. Get past it. Yeah, Teleport's going to be uh, one of your friends in this matchup, right? Just be able to get around some uh -oh. of that zoning. And there we go. Time is stopped. Should be able to get the kill off of this, right? No, it's no! Not. And then DP, uh, yep. Extruder pickup, nice. Yeah, Extruder, bro. She says, hold that shit. Mm-hmm. And there we go, right into the Awakening. Yeah, that, they could have just gone like Spriggan into Awakening, but extended a little bit further to make sure the kill happened. Yeah, because I'm not sure if we, if we went immediately into Super there, probably would have survived because of just how long the combo went on, how much scaling was on it, right? Yeah, but, you know, that should at least show you that Lost Warrior puts out that damage. Good lord, that was off of one interaction. Spriggan gets knocked down. Why is Launcher so tall? She's an Empyrean, just like Queen Merica. Yep. Oh, nice. That cross up. Ooh, the pick of two. Oh, yeah, help! Very hard. Help! For... <laughs> Let our man play the game. All right. This is most matchups against this character. <laughs> she yeah, be but very it, it, difficult to deal with. Mm -hmm. Oh, and linking the 2A after the jump laser. So good. Yep, so there we go. Borderlands coming through. Game number one. Reiko is finding good gaps to escape there with the with the teleport, but it's just not it's not enough, right? We're not getting enough yeah. out of it, and we're still losing the neutral game afterwards. Yeah, it, it's just so tough because like in matchups where Lost Warrior can make something happen, usually it's like finding the gaps or like you know you're able to get out of pressure long enough to get your own game started. But the fact that Launcher's putting oh. everything on the screen, you're not getting the time to get your slower normals or slower specials out. Yeah, absolutely. That is the most difficult part about this. Now you're stuck in the corner. There's the slide. Sends out the grenade. Roll to the extruder. That was your chance. Good stuff. Ooh, nice blocks too there from Borderlands. Yeah, that's what makes it even more difficult, right? Is Reiko is escaping, is starting to get pressure, but Borderlands, the defense is so solid on top of it. Oh boy. Am I able to kill just yet? One more interaction. Oh no! Trying to press yeah. on the extruder! Into the OTG super, there it is. Yeah, I wonder if they're reading, maybe they're going to go into Stinger. But Stinger is still a bad situation. Now one round away from going up 2-0 here against Reiko. Nice laser. Oh, that almost picked it from that distance. Break and firm here. Gonna get a couple of jelly beans on the screen. There we go. Got three beans on deck. Two more. And the time stop. Oh, but does get caught by the air. Laser grenade is out. I love the back roll. Just immediately disengage with it. No, just the run on 5 is good enough. I love the pickup off the stinger here. Oh my god, stinger loops! Oh, that's so sick! And the atom bomb. Okay, calm down. These combos are so cool. Look at that. Wow, the JA connecting. Fly again. <laughs> Still pick it up. Bro, it is not over yet. Good lord. And we have and one there more it fix. is. Moving like Oppenheimer. And the 2A oh is going to be enough to close that out. Borderlands now up 2 0. Just dumping the entire arsenal on you in the corner. Where is the gap? <laughs> Where is the gap that Lost Warrior could use to get out? That's the thing. It's so difficult to find that gap. And Reiko has done it a few times. It's just after we find that gap, 
We put the pressure on the Borderlands and we can't open them up. Okay, picking up from that. This is so crazy. Waits for the roll forward. The patience there from Borderlands. That's the conditioning, right? We've consistently just gone for pressure, 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 pressure. And then when we slow it down, Reiko's already expecting more lasers and explosions to come out. Oh, got the cross up. Game time here. Oh, look at this damage. Look at this damage. Okay, okay. Three stocks up. We don't even need to stop time here. We can just close it out now. Don't go for anything fancy. Right into Awakening. Okay, we'll keep it a little fancy. That's all right. Yeah. A was so scared that that wasn't going to hit. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I, 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 I do like that. Uh, unnecessary roughness right there. Just waiting to the last hit to throw the Awakening in there. Yeah, so you have to watch the whole thing, okay? The whole movie. I earned this combo. You, you, be, you better watch. Great defense coming out here from Borderlands. Teleports right into the laser, unfortunate. Look at this pressure here. Okay, finally got the gap out using the teleport. Oh. No, the drop! And that was a great conversion in the air, falling down with the Gatling gun. Well, the crazy thing was, it was <laughs> it was Atom Bomb conversion Gatling gun. So I didn't even know that Atom Bomb was still coming down. <laughs> it's just oh, looking nice. in things like that is what Borderlands is so good at doing. Now sitting here at set point, Reiko fighting for top eight winner side. Yeah, that's the tough thing is that Reiko is finding the gaps here, but not getting rewarded for them because the, they rolled through a lot of these uh, the pressure from Borderlands, but not able to convert that much because of how slow the normals are afterwards. And just not able to, to open up Borderlands at all either. Yep, right that distance where it's very rough to try and poke out. No, got conversion instead of guard cancel. Gets the run up throw. No back throw though, so we're still stuck mid screen. Nice fireball hits, but misses the con connection. That's so unfortunate. Out from Borderlands, catching 5A goes so far. Oh boy. You luckily, okay? No. There's yeah, luckily not minute. enough MP. Uh, not enough MP here. Just needs to find a way to escape though. Ooh, there it is, Reiko. Well done. That's an option we have not seen before, right? Reiko has consistently been just going for teleports or rolls to escape from the corner. Hasn't really tried to fight back. And that is such a scary thing to do with how Borderlands has been pressuring in the corner. Yeah, absolutely. But it paid off in a huge way here now. Rico staying alive. Possibly take this to a game five. Nice block. Oh, again. Opened up. I like it, just checking low like that. Mm -hmm. That may be the, the thing that we need. Look again! It works with the trade, able to get the pickup. I think Reiko may have found the answer now. I can't believe that traded with 2A so far. It's like the 2A was like halfway across the screen. Uh oh, I'm gonna hit by the orb. Huge damage incoming. Oh, catches the roll through, but misses the pierce afterwards. That is unfortunate. Yeah, to the corner we go. All right, send out the grenade. I like the guard cancel. The defense, though, Oops. just throws the cross up. <laughs> Game five. We have seen. Multiple of these comebacks now, Yejin. Reiko really just, it took a little while, but now we found the answer, right? It's to go for the low, try to counter poke. Instead of constantly trying to escape with rolls or teleports, we got to brawl, we got to fight. It's like Reiko's the goat, oh my goodness. 
Just 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 finding the gaps, and making it happen. And I mean, it takes a while, right, to figure out the the flavor, the flavor of launcher that you're going up against. What kind of pattern do they like to go for in their pressure sequences? Right, Borderlands early pick up here. We'll see how they adjust the block string to stop Riker from getting out. Ooh, going for the atom bomb this time. Oh no, the teleport right through. Oh, again, sending out the nuke. You can't guard cancel. Grenade preventing the hit. Still down to the wire. Gets oh, caught by the laser. laser. Get him his teeth. Oh, oh the, the laser again. Yeah, Reiko was going for a huge call out there, trying to go for the hit grab, right? Was expecting Borderlands to throw out any kind of a, a projectile or something. Unfortunately, the gamble did not work out. Now, Borderlands is sitting at set point once again. Yeah, Borderlands running momentum here. Nice pick up here. Grenade cancel. Oh, no, got caught trying to get out. Oh, God, help us. Nice oh, again with the low. There's the pickup. Overhead with the teleport. Gets the throw. Yeah. Oh, another one? Oh! The... <laughs> Bro, how are we able to tech and throw out the nuke so consistently? Tries to go for the run-up throw, but eats a DP! Next hit'll <gasps> do it. The 5B, the flamethrower. Borderlands going to move on to the top eight winner's side. What a match. ENF, we are going to be rocking straight into some Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising, so make sure to stick around for that as well. But right now, it is all about celebrating this game with its brand new update, its brand new character. All right, so Mega Dosage coming up here on the Swift Master Hubert on the Zerker. Now this is, <laughs> this this is this this is the classic match, you know. It is absolutely classic. And Almost as classic as Swiftmaster Hitman, but <laughs> man, you mean Hitmaster? Oh, Swift sorry, Hit yeah, yeah Hitman. All right, here we go. Sending out the tornado though. Goes for the while rising J A. Oh, you're dead. So of course, the, the big thing about this matchup too is that while Mega Dosage is going to be able to control a lot of that neutral with Swiftmaster, the moment that you get touched, you're kind of dead. He is a little bit of a squishy character. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough thing, especially with some of the uh, the nerfs that Swiftmaster has kind of gotten over the past couple of patches. Uh, doesn't get as much damage. Neutral is a little bit worse, but you know, still able to really command a lot of that mid-range, but unfortunately Zerker also has insanely good mid-range like with that Gore-Tex, and we're gonna get so much damage off of this too, so it doesn't have that much health. I yeah, know, that's his big downside here. Let's see how much we can squeeze out. We're only at 11 hits. We're gonna get a few more loops. Enough to put ourselves into waking? No, we're gonna stop short a little bit here, right? Don't want to overextend, lose too much life, and there we go. Gets the frame trap, closes out game number one here for Hubert. Yeah, that, that, that is diabolical, as you have said. Yes. Going for the conversion off of the Gore-Tex and just doing delayed low. Come on now. There was a time when Swiftmaster was absolutely running wild in this game. And he's not bad by any means. Still a very solid character, but he is not the best character in the game like he used to be. Ooh, that was good. Yeah. Hubert recognizing that he was going to be able to tech out in that situation, so going for the jump in afterwards. Very smart. Mm -hmm. There's the guard cancel. Escapes and gets the combo there off of the fireball. And this is why this matchup is always, like, funny. Because when you're playing against Zerker, they're spending a lot of their health to get... Uh, oh, no! Ooh, oh, and 5B. No. You still got to watch out for that 5B. Oh, no, times two. <laughs> that was so unfortunate that, <laughs> that the Gore-Tex didn't even interact with the, the Whirlwinds. Oh, save. <laughs> save. Here we 
we go. Back off the wall into the corner. Just goes for the overhead pressure here. Immediately, everyone gets hit by the Asian. Instant overhead. JA with the conversion. Yep, we're going to push into that awakening. What that 50%. On Zerker, 50% cube is kind of nuts. It, yeah, kind of is. <laughs> <laughs> of course, uh, Berserker normally, you know, he would have to bleed himself all the way down to about like 25% health left, and then he gets the health regen off of all of his hits. While that is really good, being able to have access to your super at 50% HP is huge. It means that he can go for a lot of these uh, these loops where he constantly bleeds himself, but he can squeeze out that extra damage a little bit earlier. Oh my gosh. No, the whiff into the low. Yeah, just like that, you're dead. I think he's going to go into one more loop, put himself into Awakening, and then put, let the super rock. Yep, there it is. Whoa, he doesn't even need the super. Excuse me. That Gore-Tex did so much damage after that long combo. That was so nasty. So nasty. <laughs> now, Guber is sitting here 2-0 right now up against Mega Dosage, trying to get into winner side of this top eight. And Huber always has been one of the, probably the most optimal Zerker players. So not surprised, able to get these two touch situations off of, you know, not even just Swiftmaster, a lot of different characters. But off of that with DP from Huber, it means that Mega Dosage is going to get the opportunity here to run some offense. There's the guard cancel. No, the stagger to L again. Just catching Mega Dodge is just, just flinching, just trying to do something. Oh my god. This time it wasn't an instant overhead, it was a delayed conversion to make you think he was gonna land and go low. Yeah, that five layer burrito. Oki is kind of crazy from Berserker. And now we are at set point. Hubert running wild through this tournament so far. Yeah, definitely trying to make it through into top eight. Round two. Fight. Nice, send out the orb. Get the gust loops. Ooh, I like it. Going for the Raging Storm just to force Hubert into an Oki situation. Look at this Indomitable Spirit, bro. He said, thanks for the white life. And <laughs> yeah, we are is for our life right now. But unfortunately, once the MP Seal comes out, all that white health is gone. Yeah, so high risk, high reward option there. We need to make sure he dies. All right, there you go. Run up throw is good. Nothing scarier than a Pixel Zerker. There's the dive in. Immediately into the conversion. Yeah, you're gonna have to end it there. Already at 35 hits. Goes for the empty low. That's conditioning, Asian, right? Constantly went for the overhead, the conversion overhead. This time hits with the low, and you might be dead here. Yeah, just needs one more. There we Bro, go, Gore awakening. Tech does so much damage. That feels unscaled. <laughs> it does feel unscaled. It's like uh, it's like uh, Astra. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm <laughs> like, like the Astra loops. Yeah, the Astra spin to win with the unscaled hit. All right, but there you go. Right. Hubert gonna take that 3-0 and move on into winner's side of top eight. 2B. Oh, dude, that was such a crazy announcement. But here we go. Blue Linkies versus Borderlands. This will be a good match. Inquisitor versus Launcher. Yeah, it's going to be kind of tough because Inquisitor does have that kind of like, you know, able to really play that long distance game against Launcher. But the thing is, Inquisitor is going to do a lot more damage than Launcher, like, you know, per hit. So Launcher's going to be very careful about how they, you know, put gaps in their pressure because, you know, one opening, Inquisitor has you in the corner and you're taking half your health. Yeah, absolutely. It's all about closing that gap and keeping the pressure on. And immediately, yep, JMF. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. We go all this damage here all that flame ticking but look at this still is able to get the tech out immediately sets up the nuke to try and protect yourself on the way down i like that a lot for borderlands every time we tech in the air we're sending out the nuke 
That is such a funny wake up option too. All right, Forger lands, and there we go. That's the first round. So fast. The damage from Inquisitor they're so good. Oh, that pose. The wind pose so fire. And that's going to be a big thing there, right? Is being able to poke from that range and go for the command dash to get right on in and start trying to run some of your pressure against Borderlands. Borderlands immediately going into the zoning game, getting the combo into the slide there off of the bazooka. DP OTG as well. Nice to roll through. Oh, he can't jump on the extruder like that. Item bomb. Sends out the grenade. I love dashing in and going for the back roll. Was actually able to bait the JMS out from Blue Linkies. Yeah, this is a dark situation, but you have to be so careful. You can't hit, can't hit by anything here. No, the jump M after the jump M. At first, you don't Do succeed. It again. Just try again. Mm hmm. And now you're good. That's a dead character. Come on. Oh, no. We go for the empty jump in. Wasn't confident that the super would be able to connect. Maybe a little too much scaling on that combo there. Too many hits. But now we're going to go right into a rematch here. Blue Linky's taking game number one. All right, round start. Patience there from Blue Link. He's that immediate block dash clear with the DP. Yeah, being able to roll through the extruder is such a good reaction to have. Oh, that was scary. Borderlands nearly extended a hurt box there to get hit by the JMS. But managed to narrowly avoid it. Now, putting Blue Linkies into the movement tutorial, how are you going to approach? Yeah, just covering every angle so well here. It's hard the way that they're mixing it up. No, never mind. It's not hard. The jump M goes right over. And that's setting up the wheel, just trying to keep him locked down. We're going to keep doing it. Look at that guard gauge. And there we go. Might not get it in time. Oh, so close to guard break. Slide, the slide isn't gonna work. Tries to set up the fire, but there's the DP. Look at the white life on Borderlands side. Woo. Stressful situation there for Borderlands, but able to make it through. That was almost robbery. <laughs> Here we go, dive loops in the corner though. Oh, I love loops. Oh no, nice. but puts himself into the new. Still has a very substantial life lead here. Doesn't need to get too aggressive. As long as the game working out here for Borderlands, able to keep out of that range of that jump M, spring and knockdown. And here we go, check in. Wall, though. Problem is, if we get hit by any stray hit from Borderlands, that's going to lead into a combo that goes into Super. Yeah, look at that. No, the roll Ooh. through. How did you find the gap? Bro, Blue Linkies is just built different here. Put the witch on the, on the fire. Yep, yeah, let him burn. Yeah, Blue Linkies is grill really tapped face. in. The way that they're finding ways through, like, it, it is crazy because Borderlands has been mixing up their block strings really well. Oh, nice anti-air stinger. Yes, snipe right out of the sky. Bro, it just keeps going. It never seems to end. Ooh, okay, the dash up block trying to bait out the DP. I like the idea. But again, Blue Linky is not content to bite on any of these, uh, the bait that's getting put out, you know? All right, there we go, getting that nice struggle again. Some situation here. Not a lot of MP to work with. Spends it on the Atom Bomb, tries to get out of there. There we go. Borderlands firing right back, 1-1. One, one. Very, very well done.
but no delays at all. We're jumping straight into the next match. Nice, the forwards roll there at round start. Just trying to get as aggressive as possible, but Borderlands is still going to come out on top of first blood. I love how Blizzard just kind of backs up full screen. It's like, let me get some space to put Jump M out. And there we go, the dip of it working out there. Poor blue Linkies. Time cuts it a little short just to try and go for the safe jump option. The jump gets oh, the Beautiful stuff for blue Linkies. Phenomenal. Should actually be able to close this out. EP into five. Oh, just needed the dive. Thought we were going to go for the five B, but the dive works just as well. It's a real tough here for Borderlands. Just, just the disparity in damage is, uh, it really adds up. Oh no, the run up. Why would they make that move jump cancel? Because she needs it. <laughs> yeah. Unironically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for the oil the 5A from the tip. Again, let's see if we can squeeze out the damage here to close things down. Another dive. There it Good is. Lord. Perfect KO from Blue Link. He's up 2 1. All right, let's see if Borderlands can rally here. It looks like Blue Linkies has their number right now. Play the beta's been never bought this game. Well, good for you. It's 20 bucks on Steam. Go pick it up. Heretics will be punished. Oh, and we're letting the intros rock, too. Oh, yeah. Shake out the nerves. Get the breathers. Oh. Oh, wait. wait a second. <laughs> okay, oh, no, we're, we're good. good. We're good. We're, we're good. in. Again, the aggression here. Oh, nice! Sniped out the jump M. No, sir. Get into the full conversion here. Man, the yeah, anti-air grenade launcher is so gnarly. Yeah, this is a massive adjustment. Borderlands is just waiting for the jump M to come out. And there we go, Juggle in the corner should be enough here off the extruder. Kevin, that's the round. With the barbecue. Mm hmm. <laughs> I love the calm walk back into run forward. <laughs> Just gotta measure him up, you know? <laughs> Build up a little bit of that confidence. Ooh, oh, jeez. Out the DP. Yeah, get him blown up there. Unfortunate whiff. And Borderlands trying to answer back with a perfect of his own. Let's see if we can get it. Oh. <laughs> so scary. Just bear down, brother. Oh no, good spot flinching. There we go. Blue Linkies has Borderlands in the corner. Bro! What is your what health? What is happening? Bro, the white health. Good God. It's not over. Oh, you're, you're screwed. But the DP right out. there at the end. Blue Linkies wasn't able to get enough mana back for another wheel. We should have enough to finish this up. Spriggan. Absolutely. Super. DP. Not going for the stupid there is so wild. Blue Linkies has another opportunity to close things out. Just has to find the one gap, and he's found the gap plenty of times before. Watch out for that jump. I mean, it is coming, and there it is. Nice avoidance, and Borderlands tied it up 2-2. That was so scary. You called it there. The speak <laughs> of the devil. The JMS jump scare. I, I, I'm still kind of messed up by the, by that sequence in the corner where they kept uh, <laughs> they kept canceling the the, the two M. Bro, oh, that was messed up. The With amount the so scary. The amount of white life, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Just please, please, God, don't get hit. All right, but we got a final game. Going back to character select though for Blue Linkies. Are we gonna go over to the Swiftmaster or are we just taking a little bit of a breather? I don't think there's any reason to change characters here. You're rocking really well with the Inquisitor.
Or maybe we should pull out some Battle Mage. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So Swiftmaster we go. Interesting choice here from Blue Linkies. Bringing out the boy. Bro, the song? The song's kind of crazy, I'm not going to lie, but here we go. Starting things off immediately, sending out all the explosions, all the bullets, but we set up the Gucci belt there just to dash through it all. Smart stuff for Blue Linkies. There we go. Ye olden Gus Loops here. It's been a while, but they're still good. Gus Loop just feels good to say. Doesn't feel good to get hit by them. <laughs> Hey man, you're the one that coined it. So conversion. <laughs> We're just gonna, you know, if I can't combo you to the corner, I'll block string you to the corner, right? <laughs> That's one way to do it. Catches the roll forward there with the 2A. And spring and knockdown. No MP to set up the atom bomb, so we're just gonna space him out here in the corner. Right, again, setting Ooh. up the Gucci belt. Whoa, that trade was actually kind of scary. Orlan just immediately going to the back roll, though, to get out of dodge. But might have been able to convert off of that. Instead, though, Blue Linkies is going to be able to take this round, putting him at set point. Yeah, look like the change working out real well. Just to kind of change the pace of the match. I think, you know, bringing in a fresh character having access to the Gucci belt to get through some of these explosions definitely makes the neutral a lot more manageable. So I kind of get it. I understand the switch here for Blue Link. But the low health ain't gonna help you here at all either. Oh yeah. Granted, Inquisitor is also a low health character. DP is gonna get blocked this time though. This is gonna hurt. All right, one more chance for Blue Link. He's Oh no, tried to jump. And here we go. Final game, final round again. We've had so many of these today in this bracket. And this yeah, is still the everyone is here to play, dude. This is still the first match of top eight. <laughs> there i like it we've got conversion instead of guard cancel there oh but dp is still gonna get blown up by the grenade oh my god so lucky that that actually did not convert wait no 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 you're not dead you're not dead you get one last opportunity here yeah Sends up the oh, new no! <gasps> i didn't kill no, I cannot believe that he was able to survive that. Maybe got hit by like the slight delay on the explosion, but DP right through the Gucci belt. The summon swords is enough for the lands. Moves on to winner's final. Oh, yeah. Really made Launcher so strong is being able to cancel stuff off of grenade. Mm -hmm. So but here we go. Goldeneye 161 versus Hubert, a Ranger. It has been a hot minute. Since yeah, I've we have seen not, a Ranger. No Ranger today so far. And this is the first one here. Goldeneye, one of the best to do it. Excited to see how this is gonna go. The seeds are trapped on new challenger. Round you are. Fight! Yeah, no longer the days of people getting a gun hawk to death anymore. So I I'm excited to see kind of the adjustments and how Rangers have adjusted their gameplay. Here we go. It's got genocide grenade set up on the corner. Big explosion here. Guard break! We still got those, and that is a perfect gear from Goldeneye 161. Goodness. I'm just spacing it out here. He worked looking like having a kind of a bit of trouble working their way in here against Goldeneye. Tries to roll through, gets grabbed, pick up off the grenade. Can't believe that's still picked up. Not pressure. You're gonna have to get out of there somehow. No explosion, and this would be a double perfect. Oh, guard cancel. You're not letting it happen. 
the slide right back in, and Goldeneye getting the first match. It looks like Ranger's still a fairly strong character, even though we've not seen them very often here on the stream. We're getting something started here off the jump M conversion, taking those plus frames and getting a sweet combo here in the corner. Ooh, tries to go for the fake out there, catching the roll off the other side. And did we get this into the corner here? This actually should be it. No, the awakening needed. Good stuff. Yeah, Hubert uh, just firing right back, not letting that two round straight get to him. I mean, it's so important, right? You got to steal yourself here in top eight. Can't let the nerves get to you. There's a dropout. Woo! Okay, Acid Rain hits its mark. Bro, this character is still looking very strong, you know? Oh, the jump M on the other side. Nice. <laughs> that would have been so sick if that didn't hit on the other side, to be honest. <laughs> All right, stopping short. All oh, this indomitable spirit, but still going to get caught by the 5B. And now your life is forfeit. Hubert tying things up 1-1. One, one. You know, I, I love this character, Ranger. He is... He is what you would expect from a gun-based character in a fighting game, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, Ranger was definitely the, like, cool character in PvP in DNF, so I'm really happy that translated over very well here at the uh, DNF Duel. Nice catch there with the 2A, immediately goes into the spin Rooney. Oh, deadly approach. Tried to ca caught the jump there. Training bullets. Uh, good old Gunhawk. Never gets old. Yeah, people will be landing on Gunhawks forever and ever and ever. As long as the servers exist <laughs> on the game, people will be getting hit by Gunhawks. But wow, flying straight over the throw attempt there. But Hubert, pixel berserker moment here. Oh! Oh, bro, you got shimmy, and now you're dead. The half screen shimmy. <laughs> there it is. Yep. <laughs> Clear cube. Just like you do, just extending it, you know, as far as you can, you know, setting a message. You could have done it earlier, but you know, you, they gotta watch the combo. Gotta to practice too, right? Make sure that of you course. still got those. <laughs> Let's go for the Hellbreaker immediately. Double Hellbreaker. Pick up with the grenade. Beautiful stuff. Oh, but the whiff is so wow. tragic. I think he was expecting Hubert to already recover, right? To be forced to block that. Yeah. But just did it a little too early. And then the empty low there after the tech. No, not like this. Optimal. Hubert, you're, come okay. on now. Yeah, you were you're alive there. He, he is blocked, though. And now you're definitely no longer living. Yep, right to Awakening. Why not? Yep, you can't drop the Awakening. Hubert. Uh, Looking to keep moving on here in the bracket, just one game away. Yeah, here it's been so clean on on these pokeouts. I think the, the big difference from that first round is that Hubert was like, oh, I'm playing a Ranger again. I I, I, I can't just let them, you know, get their pressure started because they get guard broken. Because they got guard broken, like, I think, like three or four times in that first match. Just off the gun hunt. the combo here. Huge chance for Goldeneye. There 
we go. Acid Rain. Set up the grenade. Just run up DP. You no. are. Uh... Alright. You know, it it technically was covered by the grenade. You're so, right. You know. You're right. <laughs> little little disrespectful, but they're right. Here we go, trying to play that full screen zoning here. 5A, 5B, but the Gore-Tex is gonna pull you right on in. What a back roll to avoid the dive. Can't jump in the situation. That jump S goes so far. Ooh, no, the conversion with the late overhead. Yeah. That is brutal. I don't think anyone has blocked the uh, the conversion JA yet, Yeah, no, There's no way. There's no way. Not a single person tonight has blocked it. Now Hubert is sitting here at set point. There we go, Spinaroonie. Watch your back. Get that little dash, micro dash. Make sure that you maintain this corner positioning. Oh no, good for the slide. Yeah, there's the bit of RPS there, you know, you can kind of set up a gun hawk there, or you can just go for the slide for a frame trap. Oh, got half by the grenade. I like that he set up the gore cross there just to block the gunshot. In. We're in and we're not quite out. We still have to find that touch, and there it is. 5B is going to hit its mark. Goldeneye taking Ooh. us to game five. Another game five. Hey, man, I, I will be 100% fine if every match is, is literally game five last round. It's just so, it's so exhilarating. This game is such a treat to watch. Ooh, the roll through two there to avoid that. The timing there is kind of risky, so good stuff to Hubert. No way the Gore-Tex sucked in from that far. Oh, it's Gore-Tex. Yeah, you're right. The vertical hitbox, I always underestimate it. Bro, help. God, help. No one 50, can help you now. 58! The 59 <laughs> hits! Are you kidding me? Alright, well, next round. Oh no! no. Still alive. Bro, the magic pixel. Keeping Goldeneye alive has an opportunity here. If he can score a hit, he's gonna take this round. Yeah, you can easily oh. go right to Awakening. Didn't believe in the Awakening conversion there. That's it! It's slide! Wow! <laughs> By the skin of his teeth! That was divine intervention if I've ever seen it. Insane. Now Goldeneye riding the momentum right now. Has Hubert in the corner. Gonna have to deal with the grenade setup. Oh, the Gunhawk's coming out. We're guard breaking! No! Catch the roll forward! He's mashing on the DP. He says, let me out. Let me play the game. Uh-oh. Watch out for the incoming mix-up. Oh, the reset. Bro, right, no one. Next round. No one's blocking that. <laughs> final game, final. Oh, oh, no, not quite final game. Oh, yeah, it is, it is, it is. It is final game, final round here. Oh my goodness, these two players have been playing their hearts out in this set, adapting back and forth. Last round as he moves on. <laughs> Trying to find that poke. There it is, JMS, the Helmbreaker. Huge damage off that starter too. All right, all I can say is, uh, hope you guess right. Okay, we don't go for anything quite cheeky yet. Weathering this storm, but needs to find a way out. The cyclone is just too much. Oh, the 2A from the distance, bro, no! Wait, hold up. This isn't gonna be able to kill here. 
But we are sending a grenade for another mix. Our cancel right on out, force the block. Run off! Oh. Swing. Oh, roll through! Catches into awakening! That's gonna be it! Golden Eye jackpot! Oh my goodness. We'll move on in the winner's side of the bracket to winner's finals. Goodness. Wow. The patience. The patience of a saint from Gold Knight to sit in the corner and weather that storm from Berserker for what felt like ages. So some brawler action coming in. And there we go. Mystery Man versus Brawler coming up here. Pineal versus Reiko. Who could he be? <laughs> it could be anybody. It could be you. It could be me. I'm actually intrigued to see how this match plays out because, you know, uh, Kaven's going to be really annoying for Reiko to deal with because they can't really teleport out of the pressure. Uh, yeah, I have a feeling just on paper, thinking about the tools that Brawler has, just is not going to feel that good for Lost Warrior. But Rago starting things off strong. Yeah, as always, you know, Lost Warrior uh, may have slow buttons and not a lot of uh, mix-up opportunity, but when they touch you, you're taking so much damage. Yeah, I mean, that kind of goes for both of these characters too, right? Same thing, Brawler, slower on the button side. His range is incredible, and he can convert off of really any straight hit anywhere on the screen. But Brawler definitely has a lot more ignorant buttons <laughs> than Lost Warrior does, but Reiko with a perfect off-rip. Yeah, incredible stuff to start. I don't even know if Pineapple pressed a button that round. Didn't have the opportunity. Go jumping in again. Just goes for the slide. Okay. Raw slide. Okay. Raw slide is a crazy choice. Oh, the cross up attempt. That was really nice. Really cheeky there, but there is a block button in this game. Just shooting off the poison mine. Good lord. Yeah, getting a stack of poison and fire can lead to just absolutely unreal amounts of damage. You're able to pull it off. Bro! That was so smart. Using the armor and then conversion so he turned way to the other side. And I believe that was the armor off of uh that was the armor off of Kaven, right? Yeah. And there we go, the armor off of Needle Spin to catch the teleport. This character's so sick. That's the thing, that's What's so cool about the game system of DNF is it is so freeform. So many things convert into it, it. It feels like an open world fighting game in a lot of ways, especially when it comes to just interactions, the use of conversion throughout matches and certain matchups, and especially the combo route. All right, here we go, Reiko trying to get some pressure on pineapples here in the corners, running up. Ooh, how whatever that was going to be. Also, did I miss it earlier? Was his round win animation him doing an air guitar? <laughs> I think it was, yeah. Reeled in, gets the side swap, has plenty of time to go for the slide. Time to play Donkey Kong. Ooh, nice blocks here. Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah, low ain't gonna save you there. Gets caught and Reiko takes game number one. The low crush, excuse me, that was nasty. All right, patience here. I love the dash block. You know that the thing about Lost Warrior is really he can be explosive. Attack you from anywhere on screen, so you have to be patient about dashing in. Angsty Dragoon coming through with the $20 into the match. Arena. thank you so much for the support. At 130 for DNF. Oh, the Donkey Kong combos. Over a thousand viewers too, watching this brawler action. <laughs> oh, oh, the run up, the micro dash into the A. Oh my gosh. This character is so sick, bro. So sick. I, I, I like the change up here. It's like, you know what? Maybe I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna force the neutral. I'm gonna put up my barrels and you're gonna have to guess. 
Yeah, look at this. Rayko really having a difficult time figuring out how to escape. Tried to go for a low there and got caught by the poison mine. Damage again here from Brawler. Look at this. Nice rollout. Oh, Rayko's getting the hell out of there. <laughs> Just please, please let me have some breathing room. Let me play some neutral. Ooh, the back roll. Oh, that was tragic. Was probably expecting to, to be turned the other way with the air fireball. A pineapple's gonna take advantage there. One more cave in. Gonna be able to tie things up 1 1. Yeah, super unfortunate. We might have just needed to delay it a little bit more for the turnaround, but rough stuff there for Reiko. I love that in this fantasy world, this guy is like, I'm gonna fight with a magic chain. I'm just gonna conjure a magic <laughs> chain <laughs> against all these people with swords and guns. Yeah, it's funny. So like the uh, the, the brawler's original name in the Korean game is Street Fighter. Street so you can, you, can, you can understand why they didn't name it in the English one because Street Fighter already exists, you know. Well, he do be brawling, all right. But yeah, but that's kind of the that's what kind of the whole gimmick. Like they're like they, they they play dirty, which is why they have all of this extra stuff that isn't you know just regular fighting. They have like sand, they have poison, they, they throw rocks and stuff. Hit you with the Street Fighter barrels. <laughs> mm -hmm. There we go. Pull him in with the net. <laughs> Again. Being able to pick anything off. Really, the, the thing that allows him to convert off of any straight hit is slide, right? Slide and 5S. The net that just pulls you in. Look at that. Oh, my God. Haven is so good. It's so good. Rayko still trying to fight back here. Gets caught with the cold shoulder. Oh, well, not the cold shoulder. <laughs> Good <job>, Jay Easy. <laughs> oh, the armor! Oh my the armor gosh, is not so again. messed up on Kaven. Why is the armor still active at that point? And no, no and armor again. again! You cannot guard cancel against spinning needle. That's tough, dude. That dude's That's out here spinning. Cool. He's guru guruing. All right, Reiko still has one game on the board here. Might be able to take this to a game five, but we're in another position where it's just difficulty figuring out how to escape from the pressure in the corner, right? The ideas that Reiko has been throwing out have been kind of getting blown up by the armor from Pineapple. They keep you safe there also with the sand kick. Right, clean hit, nice, gets the grab. Trying to layer some offense here for Reiko, then just back it off again. Magic Sword's working out. Perfect. Four on deck. There it is. OTG leads to the time stop. He's got as much damage as we possibly can. Go for a good Oki situation. Oh, tries to catch him the tech out there, but Pineapple's immediately pressing buttons upon landing. Nice block on the overhead. No, but the slide works out here. The net. Oh, we're getting so much damage off of Kaven right now. <gasps> the drop! Alright, <laughs> Rayko, let's again. see. Oh, a punish, though. <laughs> oh, I think we... Did we try to go for DP there at the end and it just didn't hit? Yeah, looks like it. Nice. Yeah, it's kind of a weird hitbox on it. But Reiko gonna take advantage of that opportunity here in a big way. Taking the life lead, starting to run this offense. Yeah, has to back up. Haven's armor, too good. Oh my gosh, Miss misses the combo again. That's so tough. Oh, definitely dead here for Reiko. Yep. 100% was able to get the time stop really early there in. Oh no! no! The routing didn't allow us to go into super. And now we're still in the danger zone. You can't afford to get touched. Literally anything here. Oh, the run up grab. It's not enough. This is so scary. Oh my god. Okay. The sweep able to do it. 
And here we are again, Jobber. Another game five here in top eight. Every match so far, top eight has gone to game five. You love to see the level of play. Oh, nice. Dodging the orb. Oh, big open up here for pineapples. Teleporting out there. Love the use of the armor. But you see Reiko is starting to adapt to it, right? Recognizing the situation where Pineapple wants to use the armor from Kaven and then immediately back dashing just to avoid the falling rocks. Yo, Kaven and the barrels going on him, chill. Bro, no, the armor! Oh, oops, did you try to press while I was on offense? Trying to go for it again here. The guard break, too. Didn't even realize their, their guard gauge was so low. Yeah, that, that was a checkmate situation, too. You couldn't go for a, a, a guard cancel there because of because of the barrels rolling at you, right? You would have gotten clipped yeah. afterwards. Yeah, the barrels and the cave-in. There was just too many things that would still be there after you guard cancel. They definitely have the Street Fighter kind of like oh. play style really well here in this game. In Utilizing Indomitable Spirit to make sure he didn't get guard broken. That was beautiful from Reiko. Lovely adjustment here. A lot of damage, but next hit could potentially be it. They'll get they'll get the time stop. Oh, and there you go. Yeah, let's make sure we actually get the right confirm this time. There we go. Yeah, that's what we were looking for after we got that draft in the last game. And Asian. Final game, final round. Again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we're here. We're out here. We're out here dueling in these dungeons. We are out here. Dungeon and fighting. <laughs> Reiko being a bit more aggressive here. A little too far away. We might have been able to get the pick up with the slide, but I don't think we were confident on it. Oh, gets the grab. One more time. And Pineapple's in a compromising spot. Has to make a big... Oh my god, that was a crazy roll. That was a big read. Absolutely. Has to make a big comeback here. Look at that guard gauge. Gets the 2A, but doesn't get a confirm off of it. Oh, we are pressing that for us. Bro, he's trying so hard to go for the guard break. But Reiko is so content to use the Indomitable Spirit, willing to trade life instead. Wait, we didn't go for the slide. Oh, the barrel interrupt, nice. Keeping Pineapple safe here. Go for the overhead. No, the guard cancel coming out from Reiko. This is so scary. Pineapple's finally getting some mana back, but are we gonna be able to work Whoa! with it? Scoops out of the skies, you're dead. That reach is so insane. That is actually insane, Jobber. Right, what do we have coming up here? Megadose oh, so it's Spectre. Now. Okay. Okay. What am I jinxing, Duelist? <laughs> what am I jinxing? Yo, does does, does uh, Duelist not want more Game 5s? Oh, that's what he wants. He doesn't want the curse. <laughs> I'm here for more game fives. I'm please, here for all game schedule. fives. <laughs> He's like, please, my schedule. Oh, oh, but sorry, this... DNF dual players are sick with it, so we're getting every game five possible. Bro, this color on Spectre. Save me, white woman. <laughs> all right, Anton, getting the pressure on here on Mega Dosage. Trying to keep pressure up. Nice abdominal spirit there. Guard cancel out. Release some of that pressure. Ooh, the conversion for the very low high jump A there. Yeah, if you like movement, this is your character. <laughs> oh, but the buster! Too far away to pick up the Raging Storm. Watch here, but the guard gauge look mighty low. Bro, just walk right into her loving arms there. That's round one down. You know what Spectre reminds me of? It reminds me of like 
like Fox like wave dashing back and forth on Final Destination. You know, like like <laughs> they're pressing like ten buttons a second and they're just wiggling around in the same spot as they're like doing like zip cancels. You are not wrong. <laughs> Go. We got the air confirmed. Immediately into the buster for the hard knockdown. Send out the orb. Reel him on in. Oh, the chase down with the fireball conversion. Anton, you're so sick. Love the OTG here as well. It keeps going. More tornadoes. Yeah, she's got such an interesting fireball, right? Because it has so much startup. She flips backwards to hit the ground. It's so unique. We're activating the orb here, trying to get some pressure. Nice, the shimmy comes out. Awakening should seal this round. Oh no, no. unfortunately a little bit scrambly there. Drops the combo and gets hit for his troubles. Anton going up game one. I, my commentator's curse, I'm sorry, Mega Dosage. It's okay, he understands. <laughs> All right, Orb again. Just trying to control the neutral. Keep Anton locked down. Ooh, I love the fake out there. Went for the zip, but just canceled into a normal instead. Look at these confirmed. Keep going. Gets opened up high. Back into the corner, into the blender. This character is a fake. One more mix up. Oh, but wow, the JS able to connect there for Mega Dosage. Oh no, the drop there too, and a throw from Anton. Ooh, right. The frame trap there with the micro dash 2A. Yeah, the micro dashes are so important in this game, too. Not only just for frame traps like that, but for confirms. And there's the empty low. Zip on down. Is it enough to get the kill here? Absolutely is. Anton up 2 0 in this top 8 loser set. Mega Dosage. So cool. Mega Dosage has to bring this back in a big way if we want to see another game 5. Yeah, it's looking real tough because like um, Swiftmaster excels in kind of like that, that like, you know, just out of mid range, um, you, you know, in that range where you can go for either that uh, the 5B, 2B. But Spectre controls literally probably half the screen. So yeah, finding a way in is kind of tough. And also one thing that Swiftmaster does excel at is fighting characters that aren't super mobile, right? Yeah. That don't have a whole lot of mobility, which is a decent amount of characters in this game. They're more um, kind of rigid in their movement. But that is not the case for Spectre. She can be anywhere she wants at all times. The most movement in the entire game. <laughs> Running up on that pressure. Oh, zips into the tornado! Yeah, but we still have to find one more opening. Close this out. This is anyone's game. There's the no touch. No way. Yeah, you should be dead here. Into Awakening. There it is. Anton now going to be at set point. That is actually so crazy. The fact that Specker just swung through the, the, the whirlwinds and was able to get a hit and able to convert it at that distance too. This game's gorgeous too, by the way. Oh no, that's not gorgeous. That was an ugly starter there with the buster. Bro, half your health gone. Again, Swiftmaster may be squishy, but so is Spectre. In the shimmy, bro, from so far away. Right, here we go. This is definitely a round that Mega Desert needs. <gasps> bro, what a drop. Hold up. All right, just have to find that single touch. And there it is. Perfect KO with the tornadoes. All 
Knight going straight into the air for the Raging Storm. Oh my gosh, frame trapping from full screen with Spectre's massive normals hits on the other side. Still able to get a combo. Zipped on in. Oh, we actually got Whoa. the overhead, but zipped in again for the low. Oh, we just zip right out. It's like, I'm good. Yeah, no need to overextend. You have such a life lead here. Just give Megadosage Mugido enough room to overextend here. Oh, Gucci Bell trying to shimmy here. Nice patience here for Manton. Gotta be careful. Look at that guard gauge. It's getting a little too close for Comfort the Counter! Wow. Yeah, try to get that parry, but the 5 e gonna blow up the recovery straight into the super here. Maximum Swift Master. He says, for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> Alright, Megadosage getting one on the board here, fighting right back. Do I see a game five coming? We'll see, we'll see. We might be there. <laughs> Sorry, Duelist. <laughs> Oh man, it's beginning to pierce. This is so scary to get the trade blocks from Mega Dosage. Oh my god, you thought you were gonna try to go for a throw. Instant jump, JC, or excuse me, JS. Oh, the delay with the zip down chill. That was Next so nasty. It. They're feeling it right now. Unfortunate there, wasn't able to get a confirm off of it now, and Anton <laughs> gonna hand them the receipts. Dark gets lacking a little bit of space. We got the Gucci belt on though. There we go, roll right in, easy. One round away from the promised land. Can we keep it going? Asian. Right. Kind of working out that time. Oh, nice pick up there too. Literally a stray jump A into a full combo. Oh. Okay, orb comes out. Anton actually trying to challenge back there against the orb. Looking to cut through the Raging Storm. Oh, nice Pierce. Oh. Set point now for Anton. Anton is trying to break the streak right now. Oh no, zipping right into the orb activation there. Yeah, again, trying to fish out with that 2B. Oh, yeah. I was like, not believing the jump in. It was a little too far away, I think, to actually get a confirm. There we go. Guard cancel out. Anton putting himself into awakening. Love that guard cancel. Just create a little bit of space, get some breathing room. You have so much health here. Too far away to get the confirm. And oh. there it is, the instant overhead. We're going to game five. <laughs> no! no! Not like this, please. Okay. All right, Megadose tying it up 2-2. Two, two. Game of five, here we go. And we're seeing a character switch man's on. I don't wonder if it might be a switch ever. to Inquisitor. Megadosage, please don't ever do that to me again. <laughs> But no, we're gonna keep the Spectre here. We are in Gold Cube. I don't know, did we make the switch to Gold Cube? I can't remember if we are in Clear Gold. I think the switch was over to Gold Cube though. Yeah, that was almost commentator's curse. Oh my goodness. Yeah, showing five B. Try to get something started here. Oh, we went to go for the throw up, the throw bait once again. This time, not gonna work out. Oh, man, Mega 
such core to town here. No biting on the shimmy. Nice. Good defense from Anton. Anton needs to stay patient here. Able to score a throw. Now things are a little dangerous. But we are in Awakening. I think you're dead. Should be able to no! This. That was really tragic. No, and then the run-up jump as now Mega Dosage on set point. That, that was a tragic drop because that absolutely wouldn't have been able to kill if we picked that up and went right into Super. There we go. Blowing right on through with the Charge Buster. This is quite a turnaround here. Mega Dosage now. Potentially one hit away. The uh oh, baits up the DP. Is this the incident? Okay, please, just keep it real simple here. Bro, how <laughs> every match has been final game, final round in top eight. Every single one. How does this keep happening? Full screen parry. Yeah, the, the, the gold cube actually did work out there. They're able to, to take advantage of the awakening there, just to, you know, chain a bunch of uh, mana skills and just chunk Mega Dosage in that last round. But here we go. Great start already. Half health for Mega Dosage. A little bit of a trade there. Mega Dosage does not want to be trading at this point in the game. Ooh, Ooh. run up with the whirlwinds. Yeah, beautiful conversion there too. Goes straight into the gust loop. Sets up the Raging Storm to force the block. Ooh, nice defense. Didn't go for the tech. There we go. Just waits for the right opportunity to get the guard cancel there. Didn't want to do anything risky. Knew they were in the danger zone. Another bad trade. Oh, oh! But the drop! The drop! Anton landing with the 2A. Eliminating Mega Dosage from the bracket. The white woman he moves on when they were not very good. Not very good, but really pulling out a lot of work, and that's exactly what it is going to be. The ghost from Anton's past. Yeah, we'll, we'll see who will overcome here. I'm curious if we're going to get another game fought. <laughs> Don't tell Duelist. <laughs> so sorry, Duelist. Round start, both of them being a little patient there. Neither one wanting to overextend. Oh, huge counter hit here. And how about to lose so much health already? All right, there's the dash. Immediately gets the anti-air, and that is going to be the first round. Can we talk about how an amazing pickup that was from Blue Linkies? That was from so far. They were able to fully convert it. There's the Pierce. Look at that. Going for the overhead from that far away. Ooh, nice okay. Ooh, still picked it up. Yeah, oh, sneaking the pressure in the corner here. Neutronics coming through with the 17 months. Thank you so much for the support. This confirms for you. Bro, it keeps going. Empty jump low. Anton able to block it. Now finding his way out of the corner, just, to find, just has to find that single touch, and Ooh. there it is, pin to win. And going right over the flames there, smart stuff from Anton. Oh, safe jump that. A lot of damage here off the clean confirm. Cassian, this game has no TODs, this game has TODs. Oh yeah. You do have to get very specific counter hits. Here we go. 5M pickup. Excuse me, 5B pickup. Yeah, I almost miss seeing Striker all the time because Striker had a ton of TODs. How about our boy, uh, Troubleshooter? Oh, Troubleshooter. <laughs> yeah. Troubleshooter TOD is the funniest thing in the game. 
No troubleshooter tonight, though. But plenty of Inquisitor and Spectre. Little Linky's getting the pickup. Should be dead here. Yep, goes right into the Awakening. Gonna put her to the fire. Damn, her win quotes are kind of kind of brutal, not gonna lie. She says, oh, can't yeah. we hear you scream at the Inquisition? <laughs> no, she's a hundred percent about it. <laughs> she lives for this, alright? <laughs> she's on a crusade right now, dude. There we go. Clean oh, pick up. Time to take you to the corner. Persia coming through with the 19 months. Hope you're doing well, Persia. Thank you so much. Hell yeah, just a Persia. Oh yeah, that's no. Yep. Big 5B opener here. You dead care. Oh no. no! Yep. That looked like that was a one too many loops there. Now Anton has an opportunity here to turn things around. This is the Spectre around here. Oh! Needed it out, but wasn't able to punish in time. Yeah, unfortunate, but what a roll through. Punishing with the throw. Great stuff from Blue Linkies. Right, the next round. Again, both of them being so respectful at round start, right? There are no instant buttons at all. I mean, it's very scary with both of these characters. Easily one hit from mid screen will lead into the corner. Yeah, just incredible corner carry. Bro, you can try to roll. Ain't gonna help you. Sends out the fire. Ooh, and the fire shutting on the fire ball like that is actually very interesting. Very nice interaction. Nice, just the cash out there. There we go, the oil loops. So much damage coming up here. Oh, but we land the parry. No overheads for you. Immediately goes for the zip in. Oh, force the block. Ooh, right through too. Oh yeah, keep it real simple. Yeah, nothing personal. Anton securing a round here. This next round is very, very critical for Anton. Not allowing Blue Linkies to get that 2-0 lead, right? You don't want to allow him to run away with the momentum here, but he's going to get the first blood into a full confirm in the corner. Yeah, the frame trap on the 6 time is so annoying to deal with, and he can be jump canceled, so you're like, man, what do I do on pressure? Okay, open up. Too too much of it, but still stuck here in the corner. Oh, just the tip there of the A you're there. Oh, man. And Endai with the tier one coming through with a sub. Welcome and thank you. And this is not good for Anton, right? Down 2-0. Almost able to tie it up 1-1, but it means that we're really going to have to dig deep. But, you know, we've seen plenty of these possible reverse 3-0 comebacks, right? Anton just needs to dig deep here. Find something within him. Switches over to Gold Cube Spectre. So let's see if this is going to be the answer, right? Yeah, we'll see if it, you know, ends up working out well. It's just kind of tough because, like, the 30% one is, is kind of interesting specifically in the context of Inquisitor because Inquisitor will two-touch you. So it's like, unless like they get a weird hit on the second one, you're probably going to die anyway. So it's almost like the 50% the, the, the cube might be better. Possibly, yeah. I mean, you do get that extra move though, right? Mm -hmm. Just like the extra sub to Master of Jack coming through from a gift from Colossal Cactus. Thank you. It's just a clock, the Colossal Cat, because that's a great name. Follow my lead. And Proxy coming through, 37 months with the Prime. 
What's up, Proxy? He's an okay always reader if you haven't heard of him, guys. Axes. You're so right. Whoa, oh, no! Play with the JMS! Spinner Rooney. Look at all this damage coming up here. Try to go for the backdash conversion. Ooh, the That's jump hit is actually coming back to haunt Blue Link, he's Asian. Drop the combo there, back to neutral. Anton might actually get put into Awakening here. Oh, doesn't even need it. Nice. Great conversion off that one hit. Yeah, so far, able to score around, but we need plenty more of those if we're going to tie things up and take it to a game five. Follow my lead. And Crom Dome with the gifted sub. Thank you to Mean Buffalo. All right, Anton Awakening activated. Last chance here. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, no. But now Blinky's going to get set point. This might break the streak. I believe in Anton. Well, Linky says I'm tired of these game fives, trying to end it here. But I still want to see more Spectre. Anton! Please. Oh, nice. Mixes the grab. Anton throwing back into the corner. The league is again trying to go for the conversion oh, wake up. Doesn't work out. And thank you so much to Stevie Rex for the oh, tier the one. Train. The hype train. Thank you for DNF. There's the empty low. Oh, we're not going to be able to kill off of this. We are in awakening. Still has one more mix up have... incoming. We're pushing it. That was so scary. Yeah, I don't blame him for not pressing. Oh, the counter! Too predictable. Right, predictable. I'm getting one on the board. <laughs> <laughs> one more game. <laughs> you was where you at. My <laughs> bro's sweating. He's sweating. Dula said my immaculate schedule. Oh, but there's the anti-air hitting its mark. Blinky's dashing right on out of the corner. It's really hard to challenge against that when she goes for the command dash, right? It's not like a roll where it's easy to punish. Jirati is out. There's the guard cancel. Doesn't want to hold on to any of those plus frames from the 5MS or the JMS. Yeah, Blinky's turning it on a bit now. Anton just outside of awakening. Oh my god, what a pickup. Gets the overhead. Hold on. He might be doing it. Out of mana here, so are we going to be able to get the kill? Yeah, we got mana oh, it's just a in time. Just in time. I didn't even see it come back. He just said, I'm sending it. <laughs> he saw that one pixel MP, like, bet I can do one more MP skill. Right, sends out the Jurati again. Nice roll through the dive. Now let's see if we can make something happen. As Blue Linky's up against the ropes. Gotta watch out for that DP though. Blue Linky's has been so on point with the DP placements. See, trying to bait it out there too. Yeah, you have to be so careful about that DP and also jump M. So you kind of have to sit full screen, which kind of helps out with Spectre. Spectre has such an effective uh, range, even at full screen. Roll backwards, creates his face. Love the conversion there to try and go for the overhead attempt. Also, just save yourself because that whip was kind of scary. <laughs> Ooh, the roll through the beers! Dive on in. Not going to be able to kill off of this. Wow, we're able to spin wow. through. Hold on, hold on. Goes for the Please Keep it simple. Oh my god. Bro. Oh my god, this character is so sick. Game five, baby. Another game five. Every top eight match on stream has been game five. The only one that wasn't game five happened off stream. Yeah.
<laughs> Hubert beating Reiko. Ooh, but, man. Uh, going back to character select here for Blue Linkies. Are we going to bring out the the Swiftmaster again? I, 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 I wonder. Again, just just I to mix it up, you know? No. No, nah, we're sticking no, with no. it. Yeah, I don't feel like you've really needed to. I think that Blue Linkies has been playing phenomenally here with Inquisitor and sticking with her is the right pick. All right, game five here in Losers Quarters. Oh, yeah. Able to bait up the DP there. Huge punish now for Anton. Oh, no. Is that Potential? working out? I, I, no, I don't think so, but that was an amazing adjustment there from Anton. You have the life lead here, but this is gonna even things up closely. Lots of damage, sets up the Jurati, and now you're dead. There it is, burner at the stake. And yes, for any of you tuning in in chat, I see you all. Grand Blue is directly after this top eight, so make sure to stick around. All right, set point now for Blue Linkies. Real nice, gets the counter again. Oh, we're running up with the throw too. Yeah, we've been seeing Blue Linkies try to roll through the pierces, so it's very risky here for Anton to throw him out. Oh, and the counter on the jump M! He blocked the very first one and then reacted with the counter, because there is a bit of a gap based on how high that was. Disgusting. <laughs> it just keeps carrying, it never stops, gets the dive again, set up the wheel, time to block all this. Oh, <gasps> beautiful throw though. And Hunt just needs to find one more mix, one more touch. Dash forward into nothing, so scary! Trying to jump out of the fire! That was so scary. That pierce could have been the death of Anton. Could have just playing the spacing game. Trying to counter poke. Oh, there's the guard cancel! Anton with the counter! Unbelievable. Final game. Say it with me, chat. Final game. Final round. <laughs> Bro. Oh, nice pick up there. No, but the block empty low. Anton off to a great start here. Blue Linky. We're buffed up. We have the cancel there. Ooh. Was nearly able to bait out that JMS, but the hitbox on it was just too large. What a conversion. You might be dead, actually. Oh, no. Oh, no, text nope. out. It's next hit for both players. The guard cancels. Nice. The Pierce. Keep it simple. Wait. Oh, oh wait. What's no. happening? No. Not like no, this. No, not like this. Please. Please, no. Did not like leave? this. <laughs> what happened? We need an update. Did Blue Linkies leave? Yeah, did, did someone rage quit? Who, who's still in the room? All right, Blue Linkies is not in the room. Okay. Okay, Blue Linkies left. Anton moves on. I don't know if that curse is going to be broken yet because now it is Borderlands versus Goldeneye. We are about to have a second person shooter right here, okay? Mm hmm. Yeah. Happy Chaos. Ranger versus your heart out. L felt oh who? God. These are the real shooters, exactly. all right? Exactly. Gunner class up against each other. Both of them with grenades. Grenades function a little bit different for both these characters, but still the same general idea, right? Set it and forget it. Yeah, all the grenade characters end up pretty 
We're pretty good in DNF duel. Um, Troubleshooter's the one that kind of fell off a little bit, but still, see, seeing Launcher um, still doing really well uh, post bosses it makes me really happy. Absolutely. Here we go. It's heavy artillery versus just a sharpshooter. Mm hmm. Uh oh, DP is gonna whip. There we go. Gets hit with the flamethrower. Set up. There. Mm -hmm. Pressure is relentless, but there we go. Tries to go for the slide. It's the, what makes it so difficult to find that gap is that Borderlands is going for the grenade launcher. Who's set? Wow, that was beautiful. Roll back into 5A. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, Borderlands is going for the grenade launcher to set it up so that if you try to escape and hit them, you're going to get blown up. Right? It's a bit of a combo breaker. Defense here to not. Oh, big DP whiff. Yeah, we're gonna see a lot of um, crazy set play here from both characters. Should be enough here with the extra 5M. Not Just quite. Of health. Bro, point blank though, make my day. There's the perfect. And then he hits you with the Fortnite dance after. <laughs> Again, I like the 5A checks. What, what's helpful in this matchup is 5A and 5B going full screen, right? It means that yeah. Goldeneye can kind of check Borderlands when Borderlands is trying to set stuff up so far away and prevent that from happening, kind of force more of a close range engagement. Oh, nice roll forward, but Golden Eye is ready for it. They're rolling out of the way of the nuke. Oh gosh, let's try to snipe out with the laser. Launch your back into the acid rain. Beautiful roll through, though, from Borderlands. Now finally getting some offense on deck. Next hit kills for both of them. Who's the quickest shot? Goodness, look at this arsenal coming out here from Launcher. Ranger just blocking for their oh. life. Body get guard, guard broken. Gauge. Yep, there it is. Guard gauge is gone. And there wasn't a lot <laughs> that Golden Knight could have done there. The spacing where Launcher was, you just had to hold all the projectiles. Oh my gosh. Both of them just whipping their, their A normals in front of each other. The gold knight is able to get the first blood here. With the pistol whoop, taking to the skies. Set up the grenade, meal time. Oh yeah, just send out the gun hawk. Oh, rolling forward was kind of risky there in that situation. Again, a risky option rolling forward does get caught this time by the 2A. I missed the Spriggan. The atom bomb out though. No! Big explosion! Bro, you cannot get hit again. Has to find something. A 2A, a 5B, anything. Try to go for 5A no. and get blown up! <gasps> not like this. Guard hits out. It's not oh, done yet. Oh, the throw! Rolling through the Gunhawk to get the throw. Rolling through the Gunhawk when you're one hit away from dying is such an insane decision to make. So risky. Because if you are just barely off on that range, you're getting hit. That was calculated. Nice DP through the grab. Yeah, Golden Knight trying to roll through the pressure. Not really getting too much off of it, unfortunately. There's the jump in. Ooh, see, there's again, the stinger! You cannot press out when the grenade launcher is launched. Beautiful 2A press, though. 
There we go. I love the conversion to make sure you have Awakening for the combo, but it's actually dropped right into the Gunhog. Yeah, that is really unfortunate here. We're trying to go for this chip damage. Bates out the guard cancel, and there we go. 2B. Oh, no, I'm just going for the four piece full screen. Yeah, Borderlands definitely very DP happy right now. Not wanting to respect any of GoldenEye's pressure. Alright, slide on in. Yeah, but Borderlands needs to be careful, needs to kind of figure out the range here of the 2A. We've been talking multiple times about how, wow, the 2A just keeps hitting, right? The range on it. Grab working out again, the 5A meaty. Should we able to kill here, extruder pickup? Oh no. Uh oh, Borderlands here with enough pressure to bankrupt the small nation. And there it is. <laughs> Seeing, seeing Launcher cancel like five times in the corner, it's like I don't know what's happening. I just see explosions in the corner. Oh, you just hold it. You just pray. You block and pray. That's about it. It's just like you're doing ninja hand signs and like they, they just have to hold it in the corner. I just love how the background characters are unbothered by what's happening. Yeah, they're just, they're just chilling, you know. It's the Moonlight Ooh. Tavern. Yeah, it gets the combo off the Gunhawk into the grenade. Stylish stuff. That's Triple S, all right. <laughs> Trying to go for the smoke and sexy finish. Sends out the grenade. Hard to bite on the Scott Genocide. The 5B trade. Stole away the perfect. I respect just the one hit of the of the flamethrower. Hey, no perfect, no pressure, right? Oh, getting the punish there on the acid rain. Again, a little bit too early. Nothing came down, but nice pick up here, straight into the corner. <laughs> oh, meaty group. Okay, meaty bazooka. Gunhawk blocking one more. Watch out for the guard. Oh, boy. And there it is. Guard break. There it is. <laughs> oh, no. They thought they were safe. Hit him with the jackpot. All right, Goldeneye getting one on the board here. Uh-oh, Goldeneye. This is how it starts. This is how it starts, Jobber. What a way. <laughs> All right, he's gonna get caught by the laser here. 5A just to catch Borderlands out of the sky. Yeah, and it's so important to maintain this full, full screen pressure with Goldeneye, right? You're preventing Borderlands from pulling out that laser, which is a really good way to force you to block and allow Borderlands to start setting up that offense. Oh, again, trying to go for that DP, but a whiff. Goldeneye should be able to finish it off here. Nice, but for the low off the instant jump atom bomb. Not gonna be able to kill here though. He needs to find one more mix up. This is a really familiar situation, right? Gold Knight just has to. There it is. Crouching B finds the gap, pulls the trigger. That is an insane option there, but so smart. Especially at that health, anything would have done it. Yeah, 2B, not 2A, because 2B goes full screen. So, mm -hmm. wasn't, re wasn't really confident on the spacing of the 2A, so instead went for the 2B option. Because if you whiff 2A, that was it. Oh, and gun no. off connects. Still not enough to kill. One more interaction. 
The Golden Eyes trying to take us to a game five, trying to keep it going, and there it is! Dabs on him! Game five, once again, every single match in top eight. This is how we do it here in DNF. <laughs> yes, sir, let's go! This is the level of play that we're seeing, how close, how close and still all of these players are. Just a run up 5A, very confident now, playing against Borderlands, Golden Eyes. The aggression they're showing right now. Oh, nice! Grenade pick up too. Oh, tries to go for the reset there with the 2A. Instead, it's going to come back to haunt him a little bit. Still in a great position here. Slide right on in. Coast to coast confirm. Why not? There's the barbecue. We're taking all this damage where we can. We'll go through. Oh my god! Right Bro. through the extruder. You can't just throw that out for free. What a call out. Set point now for Goldeneye. Trying to move on into grand finals winner's side. Here's the question. Borderlands take it the final round. We'll see. It's definitely looking like it right now. Borderlands having a great sequence here against Goldeneye in the corner. Goldeneye, though, going for the conversion there just to put himself into Awakening. <laughs> and guard cancels good, trying to get a little bit of space. Move back to mid screen. Oh, this time checks with the 2A. It's the full confirm. Extension with the spin Rooney. Into Grenade Oki, there it is. Guard cancels good, though, no, misses the pickup after the grenade. It's a little too far away. Gotta be careful now, right? Awakening. Borderlands already saw what Awakening will do. Slide oh. in, and there we go. Goldeneye shutting down the final game, final round option, and moving on to grand finals. Still a game five. So, so Im impressive work, everyone. Where we're staying very consistent. It's hyping you up, and you want to pick up the game. You know, it is sixty percent off on Steam. It's 20, 20 bucks. So definitely check it out. Yeah, twenty bucks on Steam. It was free yesterday on the Epic Game Store. Mm-hmm. All right, loser semi is coming up here. Anton versus Hubert. This song too. Oh, are we in Meisters? It's the new stage. Hell yeah! Shout out to Meisters. If you're a real one, y'all know about Meisters. Meisters masters. <laughs> uh oh, and there's that again. He's utilizing the wire to go for these crazy mix-ups. Oh, nice swing here. And that should be able to finish their plate. Ooh. Do not let Hubert live with a pixel. And there we go, challenging back with a 2A. Kind of risky there, right? If Hubert was able to catch you with a frame trap, you were about to blow up. Yeah, super brave stuff there. Works out for Anton. Oh no, there we go. Ashen Fort conversion here. Caught by the low. Let's see how much we're gonna do. You're still gonna be alive. Oh, Ooh, trying to reset. Who's ready? I like to think Anton was just mash <laughs> on the parry. Saying, if you go for a reset, bro, I'm ready. All right, but that's going to be a round of peace right now for Hubert and Anton. Oh, nice. To pick up off of the zip. Oh, nice. Actually catches the back roll, too. Oh, 
All right, goes to the empty low. Very nice. Should be able to get the kill here? Absolutely. With the OTG, a perfect from Anton taking game number one. Yeah, the mix-up potential from Spectre really has been so impressive to watch. Even from full screen, like, if you're not reacting to the zip, you gotta guess. A clean hit into the corner. Yep, there, the conversion tries to go for a little bit of a shimmy, but Anton patient. Bro, got hit with the tip of the dive kick. That is so unfortunate. There you go, humored. No, blood orb does not actually convert there. Oh, oh but the gore cross is gonna connect. It flies over her fireball. <laughs> no yeah, clash on them. When, when, when you got that Terry, that Terry Bogart projectile, yeah, you're right. You. Goes right under. That was interesting. Conversion into nothing. Anton. I think that was to potentially bait out the counter. Maybe, yeah, right? Once you see the blue flash, Anton would just react with the counter. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Right into Awakening. People firing right back. And again, 1-1. One, one. <laughs> <laughs> Duel's punching the air right now. No delays, jumping straight into the next match. What the range on that? Ooh, just run up on his mid, he's gonna connect. Oh, Anton trying to press something. Yeah, we'll see if they go for reason again! Actually got the hit and was able to convert. Oh, but Gore-Tex comes in and... No! We didn't have any mana! Bro. Tragic. And Anton gonna answer right back with that. So clean. When you're all tapped out and can't close out the round, that is sad. Yeah, how often does that happen? That's crazy. I mean, with Berserker, it feels like never, because he just converts yeah. and gets more mana. <laughs> we are. Spectre is going in right now. The high-low mix? No, just the counter poke. Yeah, that's a perfect, just like that. And Anton going up 2-1. All right, here we go. This is the moment of truth. Is Anton going to be able to eliminate Hubert from the bracket here? Are we getting yet another game five, everyone? There's the Pierce. Hits its mark. Full conversion for Anton. And this is a safe jump. DP is good here for Hubert. See Hubert trying to be patient. Sending out four crosses, four Texas as well. Trying to find that right hit. Beautiful roll on in, gets the low. Welcome to the corner. Oh, the reset into the 2B. Yeah, that's gonna be around here for Hubert now. Yeah, that, was, that was filthy. And if the counter works like any other counter, it loses to lows. So throwing in the 2B there, so going for the conversion into an overhead, super smart stuff from Hubert. Absolutely. I'm trying to go for a little bit of a helm breaker there, huh? Man grab immediately goes into the frenzy state, hits the low. <laughs> Reset oh. again! <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Okay, okay, game five. We are showing off every single option we got. We, we're, just, we're just going through all of them, huh? 
the moment Anton got hit by the by by the sweep, <laughs> I just started laughing because I was like, yeah, this is going to get fun. <laughs> Here we go, two, two, game five for both players here. Wow. This has been an absolutely insane top eight so far, Yeja. I, I, I still can't believe it. everyone's been playing so amazing and I'm so happy to be here commentating with you, Jobber. It has been an absolute joy. This is probably the best DNF top eight I think I've ever seen. Not gonna lie. Yeah, <laughs> it's been pretty damn good. The level of adaptation has been phenomenal here. Oh, wow. Trying to bait out a button press for a throw attempt. Does it again. The cancel immediately into the Helm Breaker. Indomitable Spirit trying to save that guard gauge. But isn't going to be able to save the Helm Breaker. Right Keeper said, I take offense to that. I am spending all my bar run of command grab. Set point for Hubert. Oh my god, bro. The range of that dive kick is diabolical. It's like half a person. Like, like from where the, the dive kick hits the floor. Tries to go for the command grab. Great jump out there from Anton. Unfortunately, didn't get to capitalize as much as he probably wanted to. But still, swapping sides is so important. Nice. Yeah, having him in the corner here. Canceling into the blood sword. Oh no. Big open up with the 2L. You. Oh, you're dead. I think so. You're actually dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hold on, chat room. Maybe, just maybe. <laughs> no, not this No time. shot, dude. <sighs> Anton going out in loser semifinals, but with an incredible run through the bracket with Spectre, really showing why she is uh, one of the coolest characters in the game. Hunter game. So that's going to be really exciting. Aiding coming back in full force like this to the fighting game community is pretty fantastic to see. But all right. Losers finals coming up. Oh man. Get your bibles really... out. <laughs> so interesting. Uh, so yeah, going to stick launcher versus crusader. Wait a second. Interesting. So Hubert on the Crusader does not want to play Zerker into Launcher. Nice poke there, right under the orb. We'll try to roll back. Let's bring a knockdown. OTG with the Extruder. Crusader is a very hefty boy, so I'm just gonna need a couple more hits like that. Onward DP works out. But stalling out the the install here. He's gonna get tired eventually. Oh, the roll through, nice. Against the wall here, great counter pokes here from Borderlands. Ooh, got caught mash, and the atom bomb still comes out. Again, tries to poke, gets counter hit. It's looking like a launcher round. Conversion with the tackle. Oh, okay. Good to know, Tabs. Oh my goodness. There we go. Awakening. And there we go. Tying up the rounds 1-1 one, one here. Connected it with the Hammer of Dawn. Oh, this character is... This character is something else. <laughs> Alright, immediately sending out the spear. A little too far away, though. Now you're trapped up against the wall. Orland's happy to take this. Backwards roll, a little too slow, gets caught by the bazooka. 
Oh boy, the IS too to make sure you don't move. Full punish here. Still has that holy install on. What a um, what a disgusting addition to the game. To be honest with you. <laughs> The fact that when he goes into Awakening, he just automatically gets the Holy Install. Yeah, dude. That's, um... <laughs> I want what they're smoking, bro. <laughs> it's pretty sick. Here we go. Setting oh. up the wall. Backdash, avoiding all of it, and goes right on in for the shoulder check. Send him through the cross. The full screen pickup again, nice. Oh my god. I think because Crusader is so big that Borderlands actually does get that combo full screen corner of the corner. But a great throw there from Hubert, getting around on the board now. Looking to tie things up. Here in the matchup versus the first and second amendments. Sends out the grenades. Yep, you cannot challenge when those grenades come out like that. Ooh, just a roll through actually had the block on the other end of the extruder. That big boy privilege. Oh, the spears are not hitting their mark here. <laughs> Hubert oh, trying to yeah. find any way to force a block on Borderlands. There's a spear finally, but the roll backwards just trying to create some space. Crusader being so big and so slow is kind of being his downfall here. Unable to really close the gap. Oh no, and there we go. The 2 H had to roll forward. It is not looking good for our hero Hubert right now. Oh my god, the JB cross up. No! Wow! We were out of mana. That is not good. And exhaustion. No! Tried to swing on the atom bomb! But they learned nothing from Oppenheimer. Oh, there we go. Throw it to the corner. That's right. He's got God and anime on his side here. Tried to set up the Armageddon, but unfortunately got clipped. A little extra damage. Oh no. Yep, and the Indomitable Spirit again. Great use of it here from Borderlands. Like you said, preventing the pushback there and also preventing the chip damage. Or excuse me, the guard chip damage. All right, so Borderlands up to you all right now. Will Hubert switch back to Zerker? I'm curious why he didn't bring Zerker into this matchup, how he feels about it. I would, be, I would imagine Dive Kick is really good in this. All right, back to character select. I think if you're going to go down, you want to go down with the main. You know what I mean? Like, it, not that you are going to go down. Because <laughs> you could definitely bring this back. We have seen the reverse three O's. Plenty of times here in top eight. And I feel like Berserker is just a better fit for this matchup. We'll see. The, ch the chat is saying the exact opposite. So I'm excited oh, really? to see if Hubert. Yeah, that's what, what, what it's looking like here. But let's see if Hubert can uh, defy the odds here. Despite being down two matches. Oh, it's worse? What? I must have missed something then. That's crazy. The, I think you commented, you reverse commented or cursed it. So now, Hubert's going to do the sickest stuff here in this matchup. Ooh! I mean, he's starting off strong. Block. No, again, the reset into the overhead here. And Hubert gonna take the round. Oh, the instant overhead is too powerful. Gore-Tex brings you right on in. <laughs> I don't think, like I said, I don't think a single person has blocked that instant overhead yet. And there's no. the dive kick around start. Hmm, you know, maybe you're onto something, Jobber. I told you, dive kick seems like it'd be pretty good on paper, just saying. Oh, over, it's an overhead, finally blocked. Good 
at all, and he can still keep that momentum going into this next game. I'm right back into Masha's laboratory. I love this new stage. It's so cool. And here we go. Immediately just sending out the artillery. Well, not the whole arsenal again. Taking so much damage there. And Chip rolls through the stinger hits on the other side, though. That sends out the grenades, but nice roll forward is able to get the 2A. We'll confirm here now for Hubert. Trying to squeeze out as much damage as possible. Oh, oh. Got him out of the skies. He chased him up, knowing that he was going to tech into the new. Double jump. F there did it again. The conversion. Stop. That was four of them. The DP right through. Still alive. Hubert. Gets clipped by the 2A. And now it's set point here for Borderlands. <laughs> oh, my God. Four jump M's right there from Hubert there in the corner. Oh, he wanted Borderlands to press a button so bad. But Borderlands just holding down back for his dear life. Oh, Trying to go for it again. Nice anti-air with the stinger. Oh, there Ooh, we vortex. go. What we like to see. Sets up the frenzy. Tries to go for the overhead. Nice conversion there to avoid getting hit by the Helmbreaker. Oh, you're dead, right? No. Oh, no. Now you are. Juice. Aurelia on in with the Gore-Tex. One more round for Hubert to take it to a game five. He's starting to believe. He is. Oh, does get no by the right through. Oh, help. <laughs> no help. <laughs> When's it my turn? Oh, my God. Yep, sends up the new. Oh, it's caught roll. trying to roll. Oh, and... No, not going to be it. Too much scaling there on the throw. No chance. Oh my god, chance, but where do you find it? Look at your guard gauge, tries to roll through, gets caught with the low, and that is a perfect KO from Borderlands, ending the game five streak on stream. Okay, okay, chat. You guys were maybe right, but that one match was was was, was really sick though. It was. It was. <laughs> Still, amazing good. stuff from Hubert. Very consistently, just amazing Zerker play. Just unfortunately, you know, the, the matchup is unfortunate. But going yeah. out in third there. And of course, you know, probably through the technical difficulties, did pull a little steam out of his momentum, mm -hmm. right? Unfortunately, those things do happen, those acts of God. So, you know, uh, Borderlands, you better say your prayers tonight, all right? Because you got saved. <laughs> 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 all right. But... Borderlands doing a fantastic job going up to Grand Finals now to get his run back against Goldeneye. Has been performing incredibly well here with the launcher. Just needs two sets here. Needs the reset and then needs to win it. To win what is one of the most exciting, if not the most exciting, DNF Top 8 I have ever seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it has literally been packed with amazing matches. Starting from just pools. Pools to Top 8. There hasn't been one bad match in the whole bunch. Yeah, incredible, incredible character variety too. I believe it's yeah. been eight unique characters in top eight. Mm -hmm. So here we go, grand finals. Goldeneye versus Borderlands. Ranger versus Launcher. Here we go. All right, round start situation here. Both of them backing up the instant trade. Yeah, John Chan 5A with the 5B there on launcher side, but getting a bit of aggression here. Tries to bite on the stair. Great starting here. A lot of damage here on Goldeneye. Ooh, tries to DP right through, but the extruder on the other side actually interrupted. Yeah, 
Uh, got a little combo off of it as well. There we go. Mock me. Guard cancel. Trying to fight out. And now, of course, the Ranger is in Awakening. He does add that debuff to his opponent. Damage down. Defense down. Mana regeneration down. Oh, my God. The guard break. Be so careful there. Guard is coming back now. And Watch able to jump. get the shot right into the ankle. Ooh, trying to go for the anti-air 5A. Yeah, Remember, that, far to get the combo. that is one of the weaknesses of Ranger, right? Is He doesn't really have good anti-air options. He's, none of his yeah. bullets shoot upwards. They're just very horizontal. Which means that that air laser is going to be a very good tool. But there's the guard cancel. Fighting our way out again. Spin a Rooney. Alright, Scud right into the grenade setup. Roll back. Tries to bait out the grab. Watch your guard bar. Oh, she got blown up by the grenade. Oh, but speaking of getting blown up by the grenade, slides right into it. Roll forward is going to get caught. Kill just yet has no MP. Oh, the DB through that above the OTG laser isn't enough. That's crazy. He's still able to score the OTG laser. Now Gold Nine needs to fight. Oh yeah, you oh. can't do that. Not again. You learned that lesson in the first set. Oh man, that's so brutal. Just like that, Gold Knight closes out game number one here of this grand final set. Yeah, that, that's something that Borderlands is going to have to adjust for, knowing that when Gold Knight is in Awakening, you cannot do Extruder in a block stream. Nice take if you're off the slide. Think about the Gunhawk. Actually couldn't combo there because the protection from the Atom Bomb. Alright, slide right on in. Ooh, oh, there we combo. go. Yep, on the landing recovery there with the 2A. Both of them just sending out grenades. And again, one thing that was really strong for Goldeneye in the first set between these two was 5B, right? 5B saying that full screen bullet preventing Borderlands from setting up a full screen laser or throwing out these grenades. But once you're in the corner, you just gotta hold all of this. Oh, we'll to roll through again. Bad time. Getting punished for good going for it. Throw Atom Bomb pick up two. No, misses the stair. Yeah, threw it out just a little too late. Roll through this time. I like how it was rolling just close enough to get the guard cancel, right? Because you can't guard cancel a lot of her pressure based on how far away she is. Mm -hmm. You have to take that risk, unfortunately. But now that should be the round here for Borderlands. No, the slide isn't going to work. No, oh, no. And then tries to go over the DP and the rollback from Borderlands. Laser into laser, just to make sure that we can land into a full confirm. Oh no, didn't believe that the grenade was actually going to connect there, so tried to go for the DP. That was a lot of damage left on the table. The Borderlands taking full control of this match now. Such a dangerous position to be in. That 5B. Kept bringing those 5Bs. Working out so well for Goldeneye. Ooh, put down the atom bomb. Yep, back it off. 
harassing from full screen here. Yeah, the whole five piece. Oh, just oh, stalling out in the air with the just got genocide. But landing on the grenade on the way down. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. A little bit too late. Gonna end up losing the round for that as well. Right into the OTG super. Unfortunate. Definitely had the right idea. Might have been a, bit, a little bit too late. The extruder was already out. All right, right back into it now. Oh, nice. Actually, frame trap with the extruder there. Slide, sets up the grenade. Oh my god, he got hit point blank with the bazooka. I don't know what he was trying to do on wake up there. Yeah, not sure either. Might have tried to go for a DP or something. I don't know. He got stuffed. Oh no! Ooh, and a perfect here from Borderlands. And Borderlands wants to take this to a reset. Game five, last round reset. Mm -hmm. That would be the true, the true Shin Rampo. <laughs> After all we've seen so far today. Let's go for the roll forward, but still back is up against the wall. There's a grenade. I love that. The going straight into the conversion to micro dash four to avoid the grenade explosion. Beautiful. I'm not trying to go for a guard cancel. Ready bullets there, rolls forward. Oh, that roll Ooh. forward, kind of a double-edged sword right now. Goldeneye back up against the wall again. No, no too it's too late. Yep, so Borderlands is definitely adjusting really well. Now understanding that if I'm going to throw out the big one, I have to be close enough, right? To make sure that Goldeneye can't let the super rip. And those adjustments are working out so perfectly. Able to score another game off of that, and now is threatening a reset. Yeah, it's getting harder and harder to find that gap there too. The spacing, and also think like, um off of the specific uh, guns that they're canceling off of, like going for Bazooka into the uh, extruder, or instead of going for Autocom with the extruder. I think there's a different gap between the two. And I think the Bazooka one might be tighter where you can't get the awakening during the block string. Patience here too. Goldeneye not going for anything too risky. But the... Wow, the jump in there with the Gatling gun. Are we going to be able to squeeze out enough damage here? No, not quite. Oh, oh my yeah. God, yeah. No, the atom bomb's coming down. Wow. <laughs> All right, reset point now here for Borderlands. <laughs> Getting the full carry. Oh, not the Duke Duke of Forever duel. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful backwards. Side. Oh my gosh, from that far. I can't believe uh, 5A is such a big hitbox. I am always impressed by it. Such a solid tool. Trying to roll over the guard cancel there, or excuse me, flip over the guard cancel, but wasn't able to get a punish. That is so unfortunate. And I think... Oh, we might be heading to a reset. <laughs> oh, the 5M trades out with the grenade, and there we go. Borderlands getting the reset here, 3-1. And we're going right back into it. Yeah, no stall at all. Grenade has been such a good tool for both of these players. So much of their offense, it's the cornerstone of it. Oh, dash right into the bazooka, though. Oh, anti-air. 
Raider. Huge damage opener. Bro, look at the damage on this confirm. <laughs> oh, you get the Spriggan knockdown. Grenade set it up. Tries to roll forward. No, sir, you are still negative. Borderlands is cooking right now. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, Borderlands has like amazing combos, but when you get a starter like anti air extruder, that's easily more than half your health. The gold nine not out of it yet here. Striking back in his own way. Goes for the back roll. He was able to avoid the throw attempt there, but the grenade still didn't explode where he wanted it to. Yeah, oh, nice that was there. unfortunate. You had to stall yourself in the air there with the Scud Genocide, right? If you wanted to not fall onto the grenade. Nice forward roll, though, into the DP. Oh, open up with the run up 2A. On the side switch, too, right back into the corner. Nice stuff here with that Spinner Rooney. Get the run up into the dab. And we got a round. Oh, just threatening from full screen. Scary. Oh, lost so much health after that conversion. Yeah, slide on in. Spin Rooney into grenade toss. Absolutely. Oh, it's bad time. Just run up and throw, and there we go. Goldeneye getting the first match of the reset. Let's see though, he was able to get one game last time, right? Let's see if we can make these adaptations. Alright, round stock situation here. Back dash immediately from Goldeneye, creating some space. Oh, but yeah, just backing up all the way out of Flamethrower, because once you block something, launchers are already canceled into the three other moves, so just completely avoiding it's very smart. Gets hit by the Spurgeon, that is a low. Guard canceling. Dude, no! The Extruder, that's a dead character! Absolutely a goner there with the slide. Damn, what a conversion there. And we're still yeah. going. Yeah, that makes that OTG. Not over yet. There's the nuke. Gets another pickup. Sends up the grenade for the set play. There we go. Guard can't slide with the mock knee. 5 MS. Nice roll right through the final shot. Borderlands seems to have an answer for everything. They're getting very comfy in this matchup now. Oh no. They did not want that. Giving Goldeneye a chance here, putting out the Gunhawks, cranking that guard bar. Oh, yep. Yeah, there it is, the jackpot. That was like frame one, too. The, the, the extruder fireball didn't even come out yet, just the machine came out. That's how you know that was fast. Incredible. Goldeneye trying to take this up 2 0. Oh, he's a find the first touch, and there it is. Now he can start running his own patented Ranger set play. Guard cancel out, force to block. That's such a very difficult situation that Goldeneye is getting put in multiple times, right? It's where he jumps in the air to throw the grenade and then is forced to go into uh, into the, um, the acid rain in order to not fall on top of the projectiles from the Borderlands. Yeah, it's tough. In other matches, you'd be able to do that freely, but especially because Launcher can just put an array of different angled projectiles on the screen. You really do have to worry about it. Nice, gets the run-up grab. Close it out right here. 
Yep, 5 MS, just enough. There's the KO. Goldeneye now up 2-0 here in this reset. Has kind of put a stop sign on the Borderlands' momentum. This could be it. Yeah, just just that fact of Goldeneye always awakening right through Extruder when they're in Awakening has been such a big deterrent in Borderlands uh, block strings. They've been very wary of throwing it in there now. Good start though here for Borderlands. Yeah, had to stall just a little bit there to be able to get some mana back. Look at the low, tried to press. The grenade, tries to go for the run up throw. But Borlands had already committed to the DP. Hello, here we go. Into the pistol whip, spin a Rooney. Grenade set up. Yeah, off the grab pickup. There we go, easy peasy. And now it is tournament point, everyone. Tournament point! After such an amazing set of games here, you know. Oh, I would love more, but GoldenEye has oh been, been kind of cooking right now. That was disgusting! Fighting right underneath the bazooka? That was insane! Wasn't able to check the roll forward though with the 2A! Oh my god, they're trading. Here, trying to crank a bit. Look at all that white health on Goldeneye's side. Oh my god, we just lost all of that. Yeah, we're about to lose a little bit more. Sends up the nuke. Goes for the DP, but gets caught. And yes, yeah, still oh, able geez. to recover in time for the OTG laser. Hold up, Borderlands is not done yet. Uh-oh. Hold up now. There we go. Gets the confirm off the nuke into another slide to close things out. Bro, the jump back JA. As the frame kill there to get the meaty 5A. Kind of nasty. It's so cool. God. No, oh, there blocked. you go. Yep, and there we go. Borderlands finally getting a point on the board here in this reset. Whew, got the MP to get that barbecue finisher. <laughs> All right. Are we going to see a game five? <laughs> <laughs> That's the question I ask myself every time. It just keeps happening. You know? Sometimes the matches are that good. <laughs> Nice, able to convert, not get hit by the stinger. Oh, okay, going for the conversion there, just stall in the air. Rolls back just to avoid the laser, but is gonna get caught there in the trade. Getting as much damage as possible, there's the grenade. My man is blocking for his life! Yeah, literally hit by anything. Ooh, the rollback! That was their no grab today. <laughs> One round away. <laughs> slide on in. Tries to go for the watcher back, but immediately can't sit into the scud genocide. Oh no, misses it. But still picks it up. Nice, keeping the hits done long enough for the atom bomb to hit. Ooh, DPing right through the Gunhawk attempt. Nice stuff there from Borderlands. Keeping the pressure onto Goldeneye, but finally the roll forward into DP actually works out. Chase up to the skies, doesn't get the pick up with the nuke, unfortunately. Look at all these indomitable spirits, my god! I asked things for life right now. Trying to run up with the pressure of the extruder. Careful, they might have awakening. Bro, your health bar. Look at that white light. He really just spent it. 
<laughs> he just Any spent hit. half of his health for a cancel. Oh, missed! Oh, stalling himself in the air. They're just trying to find a single last touch. Anything will do it for both of them. And gets the grab! Borderlands was probably expecting a cancel into the Scud Genocide. That's what we've done every Whoa. single time for Goldeneye. Now sitting at tournament point. That was so smart, Goldeneye. Trying to win the tournament here in Borderlands will not let them. Into the grenade. Roll forward is going to get caught though. That's a punish. The extruder going to get a bit more damage here. Oh, doesn't go for the stinger this time. There we go. He has to convert and have to hold that. Yeah, but the fact that he actually was able to convert and block it is huge. Oh no. Last chance here for Borderlands. Could be it. There's the throw. And Goldeneye does it. 3-1 in the reset is your <laughs> DNF dual champion.